Good afternoon. Welcome to the Select Board Board of Health meeting here and at the Deerfield Municipal Offices on March 30th, 2018 at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. We'll start out with our pledge. Pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, we have minutes of uh, February 21st, 2018. Um, has everyone had a chance to look at them? <clears throat> I have. Was there? Oh, okay. Did you want to make any corrections? Or nope, just... I'm okay. I'm okay. Right. I move that we approve the minutes of February 21st, 2018. A second. Is there any further discussion? Hearing nope. none, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Please make that unanimous. It's just an old yeah. Just an old one, yeah. Well, we had it last week, actually. Oh. And you well, when I started reading, I was going to stumble because I was like, it's not anywhere near. Right. <laughs> trying um, to catch up. Barbara, okay. since you're here, we'll yes. do you first. Perfect. So you can go home. So I'm here to talk to you about the uh, renewal of the loan to pay for the school roof. So it's due April 11th, and so what we've chosen to do is a ban. In other words, kind of renew it every year. Okay. So we went out to bid um, the other day. And we had uh, six respondents. And well, the lowest uh, bidder was Greenfield Cooperative at 1.63. Um, Wonderful. Well, yeah, the, Barbara, the loan we're closing work. out on is 125, which, but the rates are going up, so it doesn't surprise me. Mm -hmm. um, we went out to bid for $710,000, so that's the audited amount minus 100,000, which we had incorporated into the budget to pay down the loan. Mm -hmm. So I think if we do the 100000 or thereabouts over the next um, seven years, um, that should take care of the loan. So right. uh, obviously you can change your mind and pay it off sooner, but yep. at least at that pace, um, we're in good shape. can now renew bands uh, for 10 years. It used to be five, and now it's 10. Great. So, you know what, Barbara? I'm sorry. I don't mean to interrupt you, but yes. um, I forgot. I, um, can you just introduce yourself? Because, you know, a lot of people might not know who you sure. are. Sure. Uh, my name is Barbara Hancock. I'm the town clerk, treasurer, and tax collector. Great. Okay, so I will entertain a motion to make a motion to approve the um, signing of the ban for the school roof. Second motion. Is there any further discussion? I just want to state to the minutes. Thank you, Barbara, for um, yes. going out and really doing some research and and mm -hmm. getting us the best possible rate. That's outstanding. Yeah, I was pleased with it in this yeah. comment. Yeah. yeah. Nice. We had six. If I could ask you just to sign these two, because I'm going to all those in favor. Aye. She's Aye. Going, going to vote? FedEx yes, she's to get going this right to FedEx. Okay. It can be done whenever they have to sign okay. all these. Okay. Okay. I can leave them here. Okay. Okay. Do you have to wait? I don't know. So I'll leave that. And, go, go. and um, I, I know we have uh, five. Um, Frontier here. So why don't we take care of that? Yeah, yeah why, don't we, why don't we do it and give it all back to you, Barbara, so nothing gets lost? <laughs> that way nothing gets lost. And um, so why doesn't the Frontier Committee come up? And um, we have, we'll, I think we have Lynn Carey, superintendent. Yes, and right. Bob. And, and Bob. Oh, and Bob and Bob. Oh, two of those. Oh, okay. Here's those. <laughs> Thank you. I should introduce okay. so I have, oh, I know everybody. Welcome. How are you? Thank you for coming. Thank you. Thank you for having us. I'm sorry. Let's just, two seconds and we'll, then, we, then Barbara can have all the stuff and we won't get lost. This is pretty exciting to have the school roof. Finally, yeah, being sorted out and to be really coming at a good price. Great. Thank you all so much. Thank you. Have a wonderful nice Easter. Yes. Thanks. Um, so, if you could introduce yourself. I'm just going to make a copy of this. Hi. Okay. I'm Lynn Carey, and I'm the superintendent. And yes, thank you for all the hard work on the school roof. It, it was well worth it, and it looks beautiful. 
Thank you, Lynn. You know what? You're going to have to move the speaker. I can already hear my phone sent complaining that that people can't hear you. So I'm having trouble too because of the uh, yeah. Business. I know. I'm sorry. If you could just pull the the pull mic a little the, bit closer. The pad closer. I think I'm you. done. But oh, oh, you just need to say <laughs> Lynn Carey, <laughs> our superintendent of schools. I'll say it for you. Okay, Bob, do you got to introduce yourself? And Bob too. Bob Decker. I am the elected representative from the town of Deerfield to the Frontier Regional School District. Thank you, Bob. I do appreciate how much you volunteered. And Bob? I'm Bob Lesko. I'm the director of facilities at Frontier Regional. Okay, great. Thank you. Um, so you are here to discuss the um, lawnmower. And it's actually a tractor, I would say. Mm -hmm. More of a lawn a tractor kind of thing. Um, So would you like me to summarize my? Yeah, I would love that. Okay, yeah. um, that'd be great. That's probably the best thing. Basically, to do. Um, Frontier, uh, the, the staff from Frontier mow 20 plus acres of athletic fields at, at Frontier, Deerfield Elementary, and Hurley Field. Um, they're heavily used, very intensely maintained. Baseball, soccer. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we do a lot of mowing. Yep. Um, we have two mowers that we use for that. Um, one of them is a, uh, a small John Deere diesel tractor that was purchased in 1999 when the school was built. Yep. And the other is a 03 Toro Groundsmaster that was purchased, used in 2013. Okay. Um, both those mowers are, are getting to a point where they need to be replaced. Okay. Um, we're here tonight to ask to replace the one we see as the number one priority, which is the uh, John Deere. Okay. The John Deere uh, that we're looking to purchase, or the tractor, I'm using John Deere as an example only because I went out and I got detailed specs and detailed prices from one vendor. Right. Um, we can look at other other tractors when we get around to actually bidding it. Sure. Um, but the, the piece of equipment we're looking at, um, we want a tractor that's a little bit bigger than the one we're currently using but we want one that's still small enough to fit on the landscape trailer that we use to transport our vehicles um, to Hurley. Right, right. Um, so we're, we're looking at a tractor that is, it has a three-point hitch, um, and we're going to purchase the tractor, and we're going to purchase a mower for it. Mm -hmm. and is this a, it, like a big deck mower? Pardon me? Like is a deck this, mower? Is this it's a, a deck big mower. deck mower? Yeah, yeah. Okay. we have a... The other piece of equipment we have, the Toro grounds mower, um, is a much bigger piece of equipment. It, it, it's a wing mower, it's yep. hydraulic. Um, we need the smaller mower for lots of reasons. To get in, we need it to get into places that the uh, groundsmaster won't get into, and we have quite a few implements that we'd like to use with it. So, if we get this tractor, what it's going to do? is during the mowing season, which really runs from mid-April until late October, it, it'll be running probably four hours a day, every single day, out mowing. Yeah. Um, we mow the high school athletic field several times a week, and we mow Hurley several times a week. Okay. Um, so it's a very busy piece of equipment. Yeah. Um, we've asked for a tractor with a three-point hitch so that we can reuse some existing equipment we have and so that we can add some equipment that we think will make the tractor more versatile. We're going to order the tractor with a deck mower, but we're also going to get a snow blower and a brush and a loader and a, ro a rotary drum. And that, that'll just give us something that for leaf cleanup in the fall and specifically for snow cleanup in the winter will allow us to be more efficient and more effective. And there is some, it's very difficult to, to pin down the exact costs of what we will and won't replace. We have an old Massey Ferguson tractor that is a large tractor and has pretty much for all intents and purposes been something we don't use much anymore. Right. But we, we would like to be able to use some of the implements going along with it. Okay. So by bur purchasing this tractor, we, we will put ourselves in a position where we won't be coming back 
to ask to replace the old Massey Ferguson. And we've got a couple of walk behind snowblowers. Yeah. At least one of those two snowblowers, we won't ask to replace that because you'll have this piece. we're going to be using this. And I'm trying to think what else. But, you know, in very rough numbers, I made a projection that, you know, that you, you could total up maybe $10,000 worth of avoided expenditures on these other pieces of equipment. It and doesn't make any sense. That right. basically is, is what I'm saying. I mean, I, and, I, and I think approaching the snow cleanup with the small tractor is, in addition to being much more efficient, it, it's a safer. Mm -hmm. You know, we've got a lot of guys out there pushing equipment around and, and working with shovels and that sort of right. thing. And it's just not the most efficient way to do it. And you have a lot of area of cleanup that you would use. And, and when you say a snowblower, I, oh, I see here, 54 inch. So it's a bigger bigger piece than mm -hmm. what you're pushing yeah, now we, as a single we, unit? We do all, of, you know, we have a contractor that does the parking lot. Okay. But Plows. we do all of the walkways. I mean, if you walk, the high school is a very big building. It is. And it's got two large courtyards. So if you walk around the high school and look at the amount of, excuse me, walkways and courtyards that we do, it's a significant area. Right. So, Kip, you had said something yeah, about I'm the tractor. Well. Yeah. Of was there any conversation with uh, trading those two tractors? Probably, yeah. It, it, again, it, that's a very difficult thing to factor into this, but absolutely. Um, we will talk about, you know, when, when we do the final bidding on this, we will have a conversation about the old equipment and the implements and all that sort of thing to be sure we're doing what's best. But absolutely, I do not intend, I want to clean out our garage not add more <laughs> yeah. junk to it. it. It seems to me that if you have these old tractors, you should have invited the guy over to give you a ball bar figure. I know that you don't really know which vendor you might go with and what the ultimate value would be, but if, you, if you're looking at $500 a piece or $1,000 a piece, it, instead of appropriating the money for the whole tractor, what happens if the tractor is less because of the trading value? Does that money just stay with the school system? No, no. We, we will we will spend what portion of this, you know, and and the rest just won't get spent. Well, I, I just remember Kip that you had said it, you had quoted it around thirteen hundred, uh, thirteen thousand, and this is just a dash below thirteen thousand for the tractor. Right. So, so who's primarily going to operate this tractor? Um, we've got our probably the, the two primary operators would be our grounds person mm -hmm. and, and our head custodian. But any of the custodians may use it. Are they all licensed, have hy hydraulic licenses? Um, I, I, I'm not aware of a hydraulic license. There, there, there is, there, some, some people will call the license that, that people use for hoisting right. a hydraulic license. Right. Hoisting the hoister's license starts at a vehicle that can lift above 10 feet, and this won't. It's anything, so the, over, anything over three feet or 500 pounds. It, it's ability to lift 10 feet and then a certain and a combination of the ability to lift 10 feet and a certain size bucket. I, I don't agree with that. I think Kippy's right, Bob. I'd like to check that out this afternoon. Yeah. I can, I'll call the state if you'd like, uh, I, but yeah, that's my, in, the, the interpretation that I have of it is that. I'm, I'm a license holder as well, but so it, it okay. is that. So, and, and that operator, was another right? concern. If you get this, what would happen? I mean, it's not a problem to have the employees do this, but does, first of all, who's going to pay for their licenses? Then does it change their job classifications because now they're no longer custodians, they're now equipment operators? Uh, who's going to pay for their continuing education that goes along with the mandatory licenses? We, we've got you a know. huge, you know, the, the existing tractor we have has hydraulics on it. The, right. the mower has hydraulics on it. Um, oh, I, I'm not, I understand that. It's, it's, the rule is if you're going to operate this tractor, even though I understand it's a glorified lawnmower, if that bucket can go more than three feet in the air or it has the capacity to live more than 500 pounds, you know, the individuals have to be licensed. And if they're not, not only the individuals get have, have they changed? Uh, 520 CMR in the last year or so, because I've got a copy of it here and it says 10 feet. 
No, I'm sure. You know, you can check into it, Bob, but I, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. But. Well, we will check into it. Generally, our custodians do not operate the equipment. Our groundskeeper does. So he would be the one that would probably, if there is a license to get, he would get it, and we would yeah, we, maintain we'll go it through the school. Room. Right. Yeah. We could limit the number of individuals if that becomes an issue. But if you're using the bucket, if you're just mowing, it's not an issue. Yeah, right. If you're mower. just if you're using the bucket, but if you're mowing, it's not an issue. Right. That's correct. Right. Yeah. Right. The the, bo the bucket is very. Uh, it's a very quick attachment, mm -hmm. and very much I want to get a tractor that we don't have to ride around with the bucket on all the time right. because that's just an impediment to the maneuverability. Absolutely. So I guess if the bucket becomes the bone of contention, it right. would be very easy to limit the Who uh, is using it at that time to using yeah. it with the bucket. Does the, um, the larger Turo that you have now, does that fit on the trailer and do you take that down to Hurley as the, well or? The John Deere, the small, the little bit smaller John Deere we have. Yep. Yes. I mean, a, a typical trip to Hurley involves one guy driving the, uh, the larger wing mower down oh, there. Oh, okay. And then another person pulling a trailer gotcha. that usually has the John Deere on it yep. and often has our Sam Pro, which is a piece of equipment to um, groom the, the uh, baselines yep. and uh, weed trimmers and that sort right, of thing. Right, right. Okay. Good. I didn't realize you could drive the big one down. In addition, we use the mower actually to mow the Deerfield School as well. Right, the elementary so, school. Right. And so... Okay. And, so, and we do... The, the Deerfield School pays... A portion of Frontier that. Frontier to... Yeah. To maintain. So... Okay. Um, Lynn, do you have the wording um, that you want us to put on the warrant? Because I think we have to have this as a separate article because it's not part of our CIPC, right? Yeah, I think it's pretty straightforward. Yeah, I sent the wording, the exact word. I sent the exact wording maybe about two weeks ago, but I will definitely resend it. Oh, I think I, I might I, even uh, have it on the right. Okay. Sure. I just want to make sure one of the huge problems with us pounds. is that all, all of us need to vote on the exact same wording. Yeah, I think yeah. we straightened it. Every four, all the four towns will have the same thing, but the important thing is that the taxpayer understand that this isn't a toy we want to buy, you know, to, you oh, know, the shiny yeah. thing. There's really uh, a lot of need for it. Um, and there's some of the things that they want to add is an aerator and, uh, you know, a cab that will just make it usable in the winter. There'll be heat, but there's no AC, nothing like that, nothing uh, extravagant. And that's another whole issue. It's, it's going to have a cab with a heater, but it's an aftermarket one with a heater. Have you ever gotten into your car in the winter time and start driving it without a defroster? That's exactly what will happen with this type of a thing. There, it's not a good setup. Uh, it's going to fog over. You're going to end up trying to wipe it from the inside, the outside. So, uh, the only thing so it's a start. solution. Do you think it, we should get one with a defroster? <laughs> no, I think you should do it the way you've been doing it for the last 40 years. Walk what? behind a more Because this tractor also, you're, you're requesting that come with what? turf tires so it doesn't dig up the grass. Well, how do you think that's going to operate in the snow? It's not going to go anywhere. Then you're going to, instead of having a snowblower that you can back up, you're going to have this heavy piece of equipment that a person can't do, and it's going to slide all over. I just don't think it's a very frugal way of doing that. So how do you, you know? suggest, what are you suggesting? Well, as far as this tractor goes, I'm supportive of the tractor and the lawnmower. I'm not supportive of the attachments to it because the attachments are very expensive, and that if they need a new snowblower, that they buy a new snowblower because it won't cost $4,000. And then, you know, going back to the cab, can you imagine trying to mow the lawn in a hot summer day when you have no AC? And yeah, you can keep the cab doors open, but it's kind of like being in a greenhouse. It's thing. not our intention to use the cab in the summer. The intention, right. to get off and right. the intention off. for using the cab is is for the winter, and you know the, I, I don't quite know how to respond to the issue yeah. about the heater. The vendor that we're talking about it has told us that it's that's exactly why he suggested we buy it with the heater was so that we would have a cab that we can see out of and we'll be comfortable. And so to get around the turf tires, are you suggesting a, a different set of tires? No, I, I, I think that the turf tires, primarily what the lawn was used for, is, is a good decision mm -hmm. instead of the lug tires. Uh, but it would make it that much 
more so do you not suitable for the snow you know, so right now you just snow blow with the hand yeah, things the, the, the tractors are four-wheel drive tractors so right even with the turf tires on it should it'll be push it along. pretty mobile in the winter the question of the cost of the implement we when we buy snow blowers we buy we have to in order for them to hold up at all we buy a good commercial, commercial quality snow blower which costs us um, some somewhere between I'm trying to think yeah, somewhere between two thousand and twenty five hundred dollars for, for commercial and those grade. snow blowers tend to last mm, six to eight years yeah. Our experience with equipment like the tractor, we got 20 years out of it. Right. So I think it's it's fair to assume the snow loader that we purchased for this is going to last 10 to 15 as opposed to six to eight years. Hmm. It's um, another issue would be the efficiency. Uh, sometimes our custodians come in and there's six of them shoveling and they're getting overtime. They'll come in on a weekend. They'll come in in the evening. Uh, I think that we would be able to cut down on that that number and that cost of the overtime if we had a tractor with a snow blower that we could do a, a good swath with a low uh, low sweat quotient. <laughs> I, uh, I was up to Greenfield to the vendor this afternoon because I wanted to see the, oh, the yeah. size tractor, etc. And I questioned the, the cab, mm -hmm. having had a cab on an 8N, right, 40 years ago or 50 years ago, and how cold it was and what have you, and the fact they didn't have it defroster, etc. And he said, would this heater in this particular cab that been priced out? He says, you won't need a defroster. He says, it'll drive you right out of there with the heat. I don't know whether you can believe him or not, well, but I'm I just telling you. You wouldn't heat it up. I just, you know, even in your car, if you don't yeah. have that. But he says it blows right up onto the windshield. Yeah. <laughs> so oh, I all I can do is tell you what he told me if I asked the same question. Yeah. OK. Having operated without a defroster. OK, well, without any heat at all, <laughs> the windshield wipers did work. Yeah, well, um, take any action, do we? Do you, um, you want us to, to um, just put this, we'll put this on the warrant, OK? Leave it up to Do you want us to town? vote for it on this, to recommend we'll, this? We'll go through the warrant, and I have that down. So when we okay. get there, we can do that. Was we'll, there any other we'll questions did you have, Kip? Did you have any other questions, Trevor? Okay. Um, just you, you had talked about maybe getting rid of some of the other stuff, and you, there was an old Massey Ferguson. Do you think um, you don't have much need for that a after this tractor? You think, or you might still have? One of the problems I have is I, I'm guessing this vendor is not going to want to take more than one piece of equipment in trade. Yeah. So we'll probably get a trade in for the John Deere that you have as it now. currently stands. And then we have some other equipment that we need to sort through and, and do, a, you know, under state procurement, yep. um, we'll need to do some sort of a, a sale that allows people to bid on the equipment. Right, right. Declare I was going to say, but I like, you know, storage space is very precious of course. Um, at the school, and I'd yep. like to get rid of as much stuff as I can. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Great. I'd like to see that, too. Okay. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much for coming. I appreciate you All coming in on the yeah. afternoon. Have a lovely weekend. Yeah, happy Easter. And thank you for inviting us. Yeah. Uh, it's so important that well, everyone understands. Well, it was good understand. to have a good explanation of what, um, yeah, what you're thinking, what, what you're you, doing. What you were trying to do. So. Is that, Bob, is that, are those the brochures for it? Would you like to look at them? Could I? Just for a sec. I'll give them right back to you. Yes, Skip. Skip's good. Okay. Take a vote on this tonight? Yes. We, well, we just talked about that. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. All right. I just wanted to have some advice to the Finance Committee on Tuesday. Okay. Oh, I got gotcha. you. Okay. Thank you. We'll get it back to you. Okay. All right. Thank, thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, thanks for coming. Um, we're going to go into the Captive Lathrop.
pump. Well, I want to discuss that before we go into the budget and um, um, warrant. Ladies, did you have a, were you here for us for any reason? Public comment, maybe? Yes, yes. Sure. So I wrote a letter to the Board of Health. Please come yes. up. Yes, oh, come, come, come on up and have a seat. Come up and introduce yourselves and. You have a comment? <laughs> <laughs> And I live on Duncan Drive, and I sent a letter to the Board of Health last week, a little bit over. Yes. And um, so that was one of the reasons I wanted to know if you got it. <laughs> um, I have to say I'm, I'm embarrassed to say I did not see it. I have seen it. Okay. I have seen it. And uh, I have not had a chance mail? to talk to Dick yet. No, but I think, I think it went to Dick. Yes. And, he, and yes. he hasn't passed it on to us yet. Oh, okay. I think he's it, following up. He's following up at the well, moment. Why don't you okay. summarize what yeah, your letter was? Well, my concern I feel was my number one. We were here for two reasons. Okay. <laughs> my number one concern was about Mr. Samara, um, Romanowski himself oh, yeah. because uh, it's getting worse, right? And um, and also what's getting worse? I'm sorry. It's, uh, it's piling up and it's getting the yard. It's getting yeah. into. It's going to be on Stillwater Road very soon. Okay. I just want to say um, I knew that there was um, concern from yes. – I don't think I've seen your letter, but there was other concerns. So um, Dick did do an inspection for us. He did, he did do a site visit. Uh, recently? Um, uh, I don't know how – I think two that, or three I days think it was ago. before – it was, yeah, it was before, before your letter. letter so. Okay, before so there's your letter. been second, more things I think there might then. be a second – Evaluation um, uh, there were happen. large containers of some kind of liquids, and I think they're probably used oil. Yes, cooking it's oil. cooking oil, from what I understand. That's, uh, and so that's in the front now. Mm -hmm. um, there's also cabbage all spread out all over the place. Um, this is bringing vermin. There's loose dogs, um, stray cats, coyote. a lone coyote that's not afraid of people. Mm -hmm. um, I'm afraid for my own safety as well. Mm -hmm. So this was... I mean, and then yesterday there was an 18-wheeler unloading trash over there, uh, and he had help to fill up the pickups to bring that in the back. So there were boxes and boxes, I don't know what they were, boxes and boxes and boxes that filled at least two pickup trucks, maybe three, and wooden pallets. <laughs> so... As you know, this has been an ongoing... Yes, I know that. And we have really tried very hard and spent a lot of time to make sure um, it is contained as much as possible. So mm -hmm. all I can say is we will have Dick go out again mm -hmm. and um, document what is there, and um, then we'll see what's actionable. And the reason why I say what's actionable is because um, having gone through many a court, housing court mm -hmm. issues, yes, we know. Um, you ha you have to, it has to be pretty extreme, but that doesn't mean we can't ha come in and have a site another site mm -hmm. um, assignment um, discussion. It is it, it is our um, ability as board of health. It is a site assignment to have a piggery, mm -hmm. and um, we can discuss the conditions and um, see what has been documented by Dick and his inspection because that is part of the site assignment process. Right. And um, we can see if we can mitigate anything. Mm -hmm. um, so the other issue is that we heard that the, somebody else wanted to put, have pigs on Stillwater Road. So that concerns us <laughs> since we have an what, issue. What I would pigs. suggest is if you are concerned about that hearing, when it comes to us, we're pretty much only allowed to give a site, a, set the conditions for a site mm -hmm. assignment. In other words, what, you know, you have to have fencing, you know, the little mm -hmm. square four by four fencing and um, a, a manure management plan. You can require, you, you know, um, emergency contact number so to make sure that the animals are fed even if something happens. Um, those are the kind of things that we deal with. So if you are concerned about um, the piggery, uh, then you should go to the Board of Health, I mean the Zoning Board of Appeals meeting where it will be discussed. Do we have a date for that yet? Has that been said? I, I, there may be. I don't know offhand. But Dick is also now on the zoning board of appeals. <laughs> um, so if we can have him. Mm -hmm. 
communicate all that information. Yeah, I, I would call, I mean, obviously Pat, Pat <clears throat> is gone right now, but you could call Monday and find out when the zoning board or meeting. If you go, can you, have you seen our website? Yes. We have that calendar. You can click on it and see the time and all of that and the agenda. So if it's going to be talked about at their next meeting, okay. it would be very clear there. So. All you right. could verify. I, I believe it's coming up because mm -hmm. we receive comments, requests for comments. Right. Yeah, it, it, um, yeah. So I would. Uh, last week. Yeah, yeah. last week. So that usually that's two or three weeks before they set a date. Okay. So um, my recommendation would be to be involved in the ZBA hearing um, yep. as, right. it, to let your concerns right. be. You Noted. Something else you want to say? No, my name is Janet Ward, and I also could you live just put your the mic a little bit in front of you? <laughs> I, only because people complain people that they at can't home hear. they can't hear, okay. so we want to make sure everyone hears. Um, my name is Janet Ward, and I also live in the Meadows. Um, and I've just um, about three, two weeks, maybe three weeks ago, I stopped by the police station to have them take a look at it, just because of the past history of things mm -hmm. with that place. Um, because going through that history, we needed more documentation. So if things happened there, we were told to call the police. So I stopped yeah. by, and um, they also stopped by to check it out also. Thank you. It's very important to document it, because otherwise we don't have, when right. you go to court. Right. We've learned that from the past. Yes. yes. Right. So. Um, there was the issue of the house that's supposed to be empty also. Yes. Um, but, you know, things go on there that, I mean, it's his property. I realize that. Um, but there's got to be some sense and sensibility about this whole thing. Mm -hmm. Because it is horrible. Just horrible. At least now it's garbage instead of entrails, you know, like it was mm -hmm. before. But... It's still, it's still bad. Yeah. So um, we'll try to get on top of it mm -hmm. um, before the summer heat comes in. Cause that, yeah, I mean, I know that you've worked uh, a lot on this and everything, and there was a time that it seemed to be a little bit, you know, less. Mm -hmm. But now it's kind of... It does seem to be ramping up recently. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we've yeah. heard from, I've heard from several people right. that, that, that that has been an issue, so... Right. See if we can do okay. to address it. So, so thank, thank you for, you for your thank service. You for, oh, yeah, yeah thank, thank you, you for letting us know. I know you people put an awful lot of time in it, so thank you. Yes, yeah. thank you. Well, no, it's important that you communicate with us yeah. because if there's no, it, it, it just is very, very hard uh, to go through the process, housing court process. Yeah. And 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 if we if we're putting the effort in, you want to win. Mm -hmm. And the way you win is you have good documentation. Right. So, so don't feel bad about coming into our meeting and letting us know. Because then that becomes like a truck hammer. <laughs> <laughs> but it becomes no, part of our really. minutes. You're only on television. <laughs> <laughs> right, thanks. It becomes part of our minutes. Right. And, and, and we try to work through it. We're trying to be reasonable and mm -hmm. have reasonable solutions. And um, it, it just takes... A lot of hand-holding and and obviously we haven't done as good a job lately if there's some sliding backward sliding on mm -hmm. this so we will have a we'll try to schedule another site mm -hmm. um, assignment um, meeting mm -hmm. and you'll be aware of that um, uh, you know we'll, we'll, we'll make sure that people are aware of it neighbors okay. are aware of it okay. thank you very thank much thank you for coming you. yes okay. happy thank Easter you. Um, okay, can we do, um, wh what were we supposed to do on the Captain Lathrop pump? Or, or do we have to make a decision? Kip, uh, Kip asked for that to be Oh, on. Kip, Kip, did yeah. you want to just talk about the electricity? I know we had a, oh, yeah. this is just, disgusting. Um, get some chocolate, you can eat them. Mm. Uh, <laughs> anyways. I don't like the crunch. I've had, uh, I've had conversations uh, with, uh, Kevin is his latest today about the Captain Lathrop pump. And we're uh, moving forward to get that uh, replaced. Um, there, someone came and inspected the valves today, and um, I don't know the result of that inspection, uh, but we are going forward with getting that those pumps replaced and the electrical things. Uh, so, great. Uh, one, not only I wanted to uh, 
Let's did you see that, that letter from the uh, electrician? Did you get yeah. that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I looked at that. And, uh, so you understand what's going on? Yep. And okay. And I talked with Kevin about it okay. as well. Great. Just so he understood. Uh, I did. It was different than the proposal that we received last July. Um, I haven't had a chance to talk with the electrician about that, uh, but he's, we're still moving forward with this. One of the reasons that I want to talk to you about this is that um, <clears throat> After the meeting we had with the two engineering firms, that we chose to go forward with uh, Dave Prick and Associates, and they gave us um, a breakdown of their services, and, and they followed the uh, request that we provided them. But there was, I think, about twelve thousand dollars worth of information okay. that they were. Can I just stop you? Are you moving on from the pump now? Absolutely. I have. Okay. A so. It had to do with the Captain Lathrop pump station. So the reason I wanted to bring that to your attention is that when we get to meet with uh, these people, I'm going to delete that all of that work from their uh, list of services. Um, primarily, do, do we have a copy of the um, of the proposal? Yeah. Because I haven't seen anything yet. Uh, I just would like. Do you? Would I, I didn't. I didn't bring it to, to okay. the. No, I sent it to Kip. Uh, okay. And, and, and so I have it. And, uh, but anyways, can you was, forward that on when uh, you get when you get time? Yeah. Yes, at some point. I just wanted to read it. So. There's about, like I said, about twelve thousand dollars that I can pick out of there that was just to inform us what's wrong with Captain Lathrop Station. Um, and if we're already addressing we know, it. Not only we know what's wrong with it, we've known well, for a we, long time. Yes, and we want to fix it. We're moving forward with that. Okay, okay. Um, that makes total sense. Okay. okay. Um, do, do you have anything that you want to add, Wendy, about that? Um, um, proposal because I'd like to go well, on no, a little I, No, I, I'm going to be meeting with Kevin <clears throat> so we can be in the loop on that right, together I, and then go from there with I, you. And I kind of feel like I'd love to be in the vo in, in the loop on this as well because I just, um, you know, obviously all this stuff has been going on for a long time and I just want to get brought up to speed and if whatever decisions we make with Prickett, I'd love to be in the room to figure that out or just involved with the decisions. Before we move ahead or before we cut something out, I just wanted to, right. as a sewer commissioner, I'd like to know what's going on. Okay, well then, um, well then as long as you- Maybe this is part it, of it. <laughs> okay, I just, uh, then I, I'll inform Carol yeah. too. <clears throat> After reading their proposal, and I, I, and I can't speak very well, but what I took away from that meeting is a lot of the members thought that these people would be the best people for the job, primarily because They've been working with our systems so much. Mm -hmm. And in particular, I believe that even with their previous employer, they are the two principal employees that did all of this work. Mm -hmm. So when I saw their um, document, I was a little taken back that it was so much and all of the work was very repetitive. Uh, I, I took the old document and I took the new one and it's like, you know, they didn't copy it, but I mean, the words, all the, everything was like in the same order. Um, and I think that we are already have paid a lot of money for this study. Evaluation so we have, we have good paid idea. a lot of money over the and years. I would like to concentrate on the South Deerfield plant. I, I know I think that, we agreed on that. Yeah, we did. I just want to bring it forward because well, it's going to take, it probably will be did. close to a year before we get all the paperwork together and do something over there. So... Anything that we do for old deer is probably going to be a couple of years away. And the technology seems to be changing so much. I'd hate to spend more money to do that and then find out why you're going to do it over again. Well, um, I, the only thing I want to make sure of is that whatever we do to that plan, if we decide to say hypothetically we decide to run old Deerfield down as I just don't want to overspend, uh, underspend or overspend. You know what I mean? So I think that the. The context in meeting with Prickett to, to discuss that very point, like our, I mean, I agree all of our main focus is South Deerfield plant um, to start with because that has the most needs, but we also do have to keep in mind, you know, that, that it's attached to the everything else. So um, uh, and other I, things and, are. And I just well, want to address how we move forward because I, I, I want us to move forward together. Correct. So if we could... All of us be in part of the meeting, and you can post it as a selectman's meeting sure. when we do this. Yeah. Because wh what happens is you hearing everything second or third hand, and it's everyone's version of the of what's happening. And we don't want the Cadillac, but we don't want <coughs> yeah. a Band-Aid either. We need to have the correct. Can I 
thing. So if we all hear the information together, we can all evaluate it together, and we can all move ahead together. And it makes sense that, you know, if we've already spent the money on a study, and, and maybe they're just replying right. to what we've asked them to reply in, in the RFP or RFR. Right. So maybe they don't mind just, okay, well, you asked what you asked for, so this is what our number is, and then we can peel that away. So it's some sort of negotiation, which I'm sure Wendy and Kevin exactly, are probably working on already. That's exactly what's happened. I mean, because I get two months here. Um, I have, this is the original uh, report that's done from Dave Prickett in association with um, Weston and Sampson. Okay. And so now we got a new one, and it's basically, I know. Um, this is from July of 16, and this is from March of 18. Um, these people, um, Dave Prickett consultants, are already working for the town doing their INI studies. So, Correct. So they they do have a good handle. And there's it also makes sense to have them do it. So I think that was a good decision. I, I I guess I don't know if you guys are missing the point I'm making here. Is we're paying them to do this now, and there's more of it in their new proposal. I know. I, no. I agree. So that's so that's a that's negotiation why, that we need to have, that's right. have why happen. I want right. us I hear you. to be. Okay. So do you want me to put them on? Okay. So, you, but that's why I want all three of us to be in the room so we can actually make a decision. Okay. We mm -hmm. hear the me we hear the information, okay. and then we decide. Okay. And we cross out this, we add this, whatever. Okay, so you all want to negotiate the, the scope of services with them, I, right? I think I all think three of us have to be together on this, don't you think? Well, I, I what, what I was going to recommend is that, you know, we don't discard all of it. We just say we're going to do it in phases if you want to use that. We'll do South Deerfield first, leave all of their paperwork in place, and then we can do some. Well, yeah, they did. Deerfield. That's in there. They phased it. They're, uh, they're talking about how it would be phased. Yeah, but they still want $80,000. Well, it's for the big project. It's to look at the, the well, system that and, that's and give part us a of plan us, for that's moving not, forward. That should not be part of our regular meeting. That has to be a specialty meeting mm -hmm. where we go over this and discuss it. That's right. my only thing. And, oh, all yeah, three of us, and all three of us have to go over it, and then we decide what we're going to do. So we'd make it a sewer commissioner's meeting. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that'd be yeah. good. That way you can't talk about anything. Else. That's right. We're not allowed. But I, <laughs> okay, I just, the only no, other but thing I, I just point. want to throw I, I, in I, I, as a sewer commissioner, mm -hmm. um, you know, I've had problems with Great River Hydro not having an emergency action plan if there's an event. But they are drawing down quite a lot. You know, very, um, it's, unprecedentedly. So if we have another summer um, where it's very dry and they draw down to make money, you know, to generate electricity, um, then, there, then there has to, you have to fill up behind the Harriman and the Sherman. Sure. And so what happens is there's no flow. Right. And my concern is we might be in violation of our um, permits because of the, the old of the, yes, the concentration. Of the concentration. There's no flow for the concentration. So we need to get a handle on what violations we had. It was extremely dry the last two years, but we need to get a handle on what potential violations that Keith was referring to, the conditions, and then I will, we need to look on our gauges, because you have that app mm -hmm. too. We'll look on the gauges of the releases to see when the violations happened compared to when they were doing the releases, and then try to forward it to when they do these ex unprecedented drawdowns, what potentially could happen. Well, let me ask you, is our old Deerfield plant the first plant on the Deerfield River? I no, 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 it's Charlemont, too. Charlemont has Charlemont one, too. too. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but what, what happens for us is by the time it gets down here, there's not really any velocity. It's much wider. Yeah, I, so yeah. you have low flow. Yep. And so I don't really have a handle on the release concentrations mm -hmm. and when we have potential violations of our license and we sort of have to we, well we, you know I, I can bring talk to Kevin and Keith about that because it kind of what goes along with that is the dry time is July and August yep. and there aren't a lot of kids at well that's right. why I asked so, I asked Keith I said if there isn't much of a you know out, that's when the kids aren't there so there shouldn't be much of an issue and he said no that was when they were happening and so I was yeah, I mean, we'll we to need to, to the bottom of that. We need to get okay. information I, and sort of sort that out. I, I, I'm, I'm glad you were looking at that and separating out what you know what yeah. they've done already. And yeah, so that's definitely a negotiation thing of where where they're at. So, okay. 
So I guess the direction would be to have a meeting at some point without. Yeah. Yeah. You know, um, as it fits yours and Kevin's schedule to. Well, I, just, I just think we need to have all mm -hmm. three of us. You can't make an informed decision with information second and third hand. We need no. to be. Then. <laughs> okay. Well, okay. It's fine. I think no. it's fine if yeah. we all we no. all get together and, yeah. and meet with them. And well, talk it about just this. makes sense, and then we sure. all have answer our questions, and yeah. then we just well, make a decision. Well, it would be very helpful if you would all. I'll get it to the other two of you, um, and if you'd write up your questions. Okay. But from I, the, from, I the, you. from the. Well, well I'm, just, I'm just trying to analyze what, so what has happened in the past the was we've had a point person. If you person. have any. You know, so. What has happened in the past is we've always had a point person, someone that, you know, that was interested. And so the no decisions were ever, or what decisions were made are being questioned. And then the, mm -hmm. you know, what decisions. So I think having us all three together will just eliminate that issue. We'll just, we'll just make a decision. I'm not trying to make this into a big, complicated thing. No, it's my, not. My no, no, response no. was going to be as simple as, you know, your proposal talks about Old Deerfield, South Deerfield, and Captain Lathrop. I'd like to take Captain Lathrop and Old Deerfield kind of off the table for right now. I want to concentrate on South Deerfield. That's pretty much it. Mm -hmm. So, and how? And how? And, and my only question to that is, how, how does? I agree with that too, because that's obviously what we, we need to do. But yeah, how does that like affect? Consensus. The whole system as yeah. it's attached. So I just don't want to well, underdo well, something there. If they we're, can address, they can address that. that. If you bring that up, right? We'll address That'll be that. my one question. But, the knee bone, but I agree. The hip bone, blah blah okay. blah. Yep. Coming up with the financing plan and. Yep. Okay. Right. Sounds so, good. So um, we'll figure out a time. And, okay. okay. Let me know. Sounds good. So then we're moving on to. Do you want to do the warrant first, Wendy, or do you want to do the budget? I, let me just do this little thing, um, which came up later. Um, I was contacted by an insurance company for a, um, a uh, Westfield Ready Mix, which is a concrete company. Their, their um, concrete mixer had mm -hmm. toppled over and done oh. some damage. I checked with Highway, and, and they're offering us $1,000 and. That's good. <laughs> Top, toppled over here. So somewhere. we need to sign a release. They sent one for me to sign, and Lisa informs me the board needs to do that. So just vote to to re sign this release, um, and they will pay us a thousand dollars for damage for this. You were it to do it. Um, I'm forgetting. I remember being I informed the, about it near Old Deerfield. A while Palmetto, ago, right? But, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And they damaged damage something. Did they do that? They're not uh, minimal. Kevin said. Nothing. Yeah, this they, is covering they, it. They, covering they the took care of it. Okay. Yes. Okay. And there was no police detail or any of that. Right. John wasn't seeking any money for that. So. Okay. So if you vote to do that, I make a motion. We accept a thousand dollars. Second. And to, for you to sign the release, and I'll fill in the information. All those, Carolyn signs. If, is there? A, uh, if there's no f further discussion, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Nothing I needed, but. All right, let, let me see. <laughs> Do we want to talk about these other things? This is, um, it was, it was on 131 Old Main I'd Street. I'd like to keep it. I've never seen oh, this. It was, the, it was oh, the end of yeah. the street. Oh, okay. It, it, it tipped over. It had come out of really? by Boynton Palms Road. Yeah, I was going to do this. And it tipped over right on the edge. Yep. And it's some cleanup. Yeah. So, okay. I mean, the, everyone responded, but they're. Right. Really wasn't any damage. Next week. Um, Interesting. Did we want to discuss yeah. this at all? Um, well, I think thank you. Discuss. Wendy, were you going to, before we go into the warrant, were you going to discuss um, what Dick came up with at the um, meeting? Yeah, he just um, basically, I sent it to you. Mm -hmm. Yes. This, you what, these are things to think about, and that um, as a Board of Health, it's highly recommended that you adopt should we go forward with having marijuana facilities in the town? regulations around that and again that's all coming into fruition so mm -hmm. we'd need to um but uh before june 1st okay so okay. you have some time but keep, read keep that in your folders and um yep. we'll stay on top of that okay that was just board of health regulations correct it's like yeah. you know if you're cooking brownies. yeah on that list you'll see a whole like you have it you don't have it in front of you no um, I, I, I yeah, probably. scanned it so you you'll see what the oh yeah this oh. no it's that and I think there was a bigger one yeah. there was a just one page there that was a I bigger had. one a couple of 
Did you? Did you? Weeks um, ago, but yeah. Well, that was the could, announcement of the workshop, I think. I, oh, yeah. I know what you're talking. You know about. what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Covered all the same stuff. Just right. More legal okay. format. So he'll he'll stay informed. And okay. I'm sure we'll okay. hear from FERCOG as well. Yep. No free sampling. No free samples. What? What did you it say? Just prohibit free commercial sampling. Oh. No. No sampling. No samples. No samples. <laughs> It's okay. hard enough to do this job. <laughs> oh, God. I thought it All right. Easier, huh? I, I think before we get bogged down in the um, warrant, I don't, well, not, I don't want to say bogged down. No, you before don't. we get into the warrant, I just want to say um, huh? jump did down. We, we did get a, um, a request not to reappoint Steve Barrett to the Conservation mm -hmm. Commission um, because he, he feel, his term expires June 20th, and um, he 30th. doesn't want to do it again. And 30th. I, or June thirtieth. Oh yeah, who put twentieth? Um, June thirtieth, mm -hmm. and I I just want to say how much work he's done mm -hmm. over the years. Um, I yeah. work with him as planning board member, and and a select board member, and you know he handled complaints, he handled a notice notice of intent, and mm -hmm. I mean just those he regs. He a lot to the town. Yeah, the regs are. Confusing. They've been updated many times, and he always did a really good job. And um, I feel he was so responsive. Um, it, it's a huge job, and it's very, very underappreciated. And mm -hmm. I just want to say thank you. Yes, I'm Let's actually very that. sad, and I hope that we can um, get other volunteers. Yeah, I agree with that. Um, um, because it's a b really big job. It also is a huge liability for us as a town if it's not done properly. So um, it's quite impressive that we haven't had any issues over the years. Um, there's been contention and controversy, obviously, mm -hmm. but um, we have not ended up in court. And um, and it's what's really he he really did an outstanding job. Did a great job. job. Yeah. He said uh, in his letter that he feels we have a good young nucleus on the board. They can ably serve the town uh, with the assistance of Mass DEP. Should have no problems, but obviously we'll need to fill his shoes, He's, which would be hard to do. You still mm. need someone to make decisions. Mm. Steve was very, very good. Yeah, I'm sure. So I'm. Thank you very much, Steve. And thank I'm, you. Thank you. See, sorry to see you go. Um, we're going to use you between now. And then. <laughs> okay, moving on. All right, the warrant. What would you? How do you want to start? Distributed it. We we'll just walk through it. Okay. Yes, let's. Let's Looks like this. Yep. Yep. We got it right here. Like a warrant. This has motions on it, but that's not how it will be posted, as you know. So let me know when you're ready to start walking through it. I do not have the tractor on here. Um, okay. So standard um, article. Who is this? Did we bump up the assessors this year or last year? Do you recall? The assessors? Two years in a row? No. Just no. this year. So. No. No, just no, this year. No, I think they <coughs> yeah. What's that? It was just this year. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so that's the change from prior year. Um, we've updated the gifts from the. Hmm. Nonprofits, the schools in historic Deerfield. Um, Article 4 is pretty small. That's the trust fund from Dickinson Library trust fund and how that that's up to date with the numbers there, small okay. numbers there that get divided between the regional school library and the, and the Tilton Library. Um, Article 5 is the revolving funds. Did you discuss that at Finance Committee? Any discussion? Are you going to? Uh, yes. Okay. The, if I, just, I think both of us are going to leave shortly. <coughs> when anything that you have. Come up, please. Uh, Thanks. <coughs> Sorry, yes, Skip. I, I, um, I really have, people really do need to know who you are, and so I need to, you need to identify okay. yourself and Skip, speak. I'm the chairman of the Finance Committee. Thank you, uh, Skip. We would, the Finance Committee would like to begin looking at the, the warrant articles uh, at, at the meeting on Tuesday to the extent that you've taken a look at them and uh, just to get familiar with them as much as anything. 
and uh, not necessarily to make any uh, any decisions to recommend or not recommend, whatever the case may be. But it's it's to get a look at them and see what what's out there. Um, Actually, if I mean this is a first look, we'll do um, you look at them and then we'll um, hopefully vote on them next time. But just mm -hmm. this is yeah, a walkthrough. I, that's, um, yeah, that's and that would I'm be still fine. Shaping that it would up be with fine with us, I think, on other as people, well. So, yeah. yeah, if we'll you can do that for us, that would be great. Yeah, uh, and you can get experience doing it here, so that <laughs> you can do it faster at the finance committee. Oh, <laughs> um, not that much actually. But. I won't be able to be at your meeting on Tuesday, so maybe if you have any questions um, between now and then, or if I, we have any conversation, well, I. I I was going to say, typically, one of you has managed to, to make I it. Know. Well, uh, I feel, and, and yeah, I feel terrible, but I what, have a um, what time emergency, regional emergency. Six o'clock, I believe, committee is the meeting. We're going over some hazardous waste stuff that uh, grant potential. So, okay. Gotcha. Um, well, let me, let me just uh, talk about Article 5, which is the revolving funds. These are mm -hmm. the numbers you've had before. Um, we did vote that public health and safety one last year. I've left that in. Um, um, that we have no idea. You, there's no, not been any money in there. Right. Um, but I put in 30,000 possible anticipation of a host agreement, but it, it's really speculative it's at this point. It's right now. Yep. I think that's more to the finance committee's liking. I, I, it sounded, <laughs> from what I've heard, uh, optimistic we, well I don't know do we really have any concrete information at this point uh, no I think the numbers yeah. are, are are wild to mm -hmm. tell you the truth yeah, and really um, I think we need to s estimate or be conservative because everybody and his brother is doing the same thing and, yeah. and they're just mm -hmm. if you listen to the numbers it's like what it doesn't even make sense no so it doesn't I think it's we have to be watered down well this yeah is I think we have to be very conservative this is a, this is, okay. Yeah, no, I think that's <laughs> why I'm agreeing. You know, there's the tax, there's, uh, yeah, right. you but, know, this but would Wendy, be if I'm we had a host agreement. But Wendy, I agree with you that this is a conservative, co co more correct number, I think. Yeah. No, I'm just trying to separate the different Between the host agreement. No right. pun intended, host, pots of money. <laughs> but the host agreement has to be, you have to connect it with reasonable expenses. and, and Right. I, I can't foresee us documenting a lot of reasonable expenses in this first year in of startup year. because the licenses are, the year will be halfway right. over before the licenses will be right. really right. up and going. Right, ground. Yeah. Yep. I, okay. I don't want to get into a lot, of, a lot of conversation about it, but I just have a quick question. This one is that the money that is generated through a host agreement will go into the public safety fund, but the, if there's sales tax, would that go into general fund like room taxes and stuff like that? I believe, I believe so. so. Okay. Right. I believe so. I guess you could set it up you differently. Oh, that's all right. Brenda, I think that's a good. Um, would ask Brenda. But I, I don't think know if that's done locally or they, it's, it's like hotel motel tax. <coughs> right. If it's like the that, state. it gets collected by the collected. state and then we get it back. Correct. Sounds like local receipts. I think yeah. you're right. But I think it happens that way. I think so. okay. it's not like they send in a certificate here. It's collected by the state right. yeah. and then and it comes back to us, to us just like. Your room do we have the hotel motel yeah. tax that here? That's the way the hotel. Oh, yes. it's, do it's, we oh, have it here in? Uh, oh yes, okay. seven percent, I believe, is the number. The taxpayers okay. benefit by that. meals and I, I meals and, and hotel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, being concerned uh, of meals? you know all yep. going all into public safety. So okay. <coughs> no, uh, we we had just talked about just the host agreement money mm -hmm. going into public yeah. safety. Yeah, th that's what would because that's, that's what I was trying to explain that they're def different. It's a dedicated thing versus. Just general. Okay. The next is the OPEB. Um, the Finance Committee has not taken any action on that. You have voted for this amount of 35 mm -hmm. to 78, which is for, based on the policy you adopted, With which 4%. is 4 percent of this year. So the, whatever mm -hmm. the prior year's health insurance cost is. Can so that I, was can one I that just... I was hoping you'd come and lay out your two cents worth, or ask the Finance Committee to take it up. We voted on it, and uh, at least once, maybe twice. I don't know. Do you well, see that changing, um, though? Yeah. I don't think your well, I don't know. I don't think I, your I, I board have, is, do we have vision is going to change, us? regardless of. 
Do we have OPEB again? No. How many times we come? What? You're still you at 10,000? I thought you, you we, had said something like either. Yeah. You voted down, then you made so mentions of $10,000. Like, was it 10,000 that was done last year? What more, the 10, what more information? 10,000 was last year, and, and I don't, to be honest with you, off, off the top of my head, I don't remember whether we uh, well, voted zero well, or 10,000. But, but the reason the board voted, and right. this is the amount that, <coughs> and this that is, what is going consonant forward on, right. on that warrant. vote and that policy. So. I, uh, I, you know, we tried was to that a, with Can I ask, was that a unanimous vote of this board? I think, I think we it voted was. unanimous. I think it and was. I think the reason why is because I, I was hesitant to commit as much money um, because you're just accumulating money. But um, Kip is actually the one that came forward and said that the, you know, if we have a bad year, that we could use uh, go to that fund to fund our liability as we go because we pay part of our budget mm -hmm. is that we pay. <clears throat> Our current retirees now right. out of our operating budget. Right. Yes. So if we had a very bad, and so by funding this account, and we had say the economy crashed like in 2008, and everybody was doing those cuts, the governor mm -hmm. was doing all the cuts and stuff, we could go to that account and and pay our um, retirees benefits for that year out of that account. So right. it's not just setting money aside, sitting there doing nothing. Because that was my hesitation. Mm -hmm. I wanted to tie it to our free cash, mm -hmm. a percentage of our free cash, so that if we had no free cash, you don't do anything. But I think the health insurance. But the mark. health insurance, <coughs> Kip's idea was to make it as a percentage of the health insurance. And then if we had a bad year where we didn't have enough free cash mm -hmm. to cover things, then we could pay for our benefits, which are about $76,000 right now, out of, out of that fund. So... You know, you're talking about inflation and escalation and all that kind of stuff. But after a couple of years, we'd actually have enough money in that fund. So you could cover a year's worth of benefits. Or a portion of it or something. Yeah, and that would relieve some of the pressure on our operating budget, covering mm -hmm. costs from our operating budget. So really it made totally idea sense. of yeah. the fund. But then we're still, if someone goes to look at us financially, we are responsible by admitting that we have liability. We're not saying how much. No one's arguing. We don't want to get into that. But we, we know we have an obligation, and we are addressing that obligation in a reasonable fashion. That's all that's important. Policy. Yeah, if, if, if one of you could be there on Tuesday uh, I'll be and, there. and present. Could you say that? Sure. Okay. You know, and you can discuss it. Long as that, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's important for people to if you, understand. If you stay we stay on the board after a while, you'll get so that you can I, spend a lot of time talking. I just want to say something. Two things. One, we were we happened to all be at the select board association meeting last night. Steve Kulik was there, and mm -hmm. people asked him what's what's going on. He addressed issues going on at the state house. And one of the things he talked about is the how woefully behind the state was in, a, in not funding their liability, mm -hmm. and they are doing that now with some better revenues and yep. more long-term planning. And I also happened to talk to David Nixon today in Hadley. He's the town administrator in Hadley, and he put $80,000 in the first year, uh, doubled it the second year, 160000 and he's setting up, trying to get two, 217, <coughs> I think he told me, every year. So, and if you look at, look at other communities, um, mm -hmm. They're definitely putting away way hundreds a whole of lot thousands more money. of dollars. Yes. And uh, we will be having the actuarial study done this year. Barbara's yes, talked that's about what I'm this really on numerous for. occasions. So we'll have some more information about that and what our outstanding liability is. Yep. So. Okay. Moving on. Well, good news. I don't know and I don't know whether, at least on the financial side, is that at least at this point in time, uh, Wendy was saying that uh, we do not have a youngster that we're going to have we're to getting, pay tuition for. Yeah, we're getting to so, that article. All yeah. right. It's back so. down to a dollar. <laughs> <coughs> We'd gotten some info. I'll, I'll go ahead you know, and say yeah, we had no. gotten some information that we had a potential student. Yes, I know. Uh, <clears throat> and, and I today tracked it all down and talked Thank to the family. And they're not, they're not going to go there. So that. Okay. Potential twenty five thousand. You know, who knows what um, expenses now back to a dollar. Perfect. And April first is the deadline, and so I think we, you know, need to hold to those. So. Yep. Um, okay. That blip went away. <laughs> Thank you, Mundy. Uh, okay. Um, the next thing is the classification compensation plan, which was what was 
Gone done last the year. Just same Sorry, thing as last year. This yes. is all the updates and This stuff. is the new, yeah, this is the one that was voted on. Last year. Mm. This, no, year. this year, this year. for next year. Oh, right, right. I'm sorry. Yeah. Thank you. With a lot of conversation and discussion, yes, yes, and you yes, asked yes, some questions course. last yes. night at the meeting. Yep. yep. Um, the next, let's see, after that is the budget. And um, it's, Brenda was popping it in, but it's only got the first page of 2019. Okay. So I'm not really sure what happened. But we'll get to the budget shortly um, yep. after we just sort of run through these sure. articles. So to, just... This, I would not look at this now. We're still looking at these pages. Just, yeah. That, just that. for comparison? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's got to be fixed. So um, so I would pass over the budget items right now because we'll, we'll get back to them. Okay. Um, page 12. Uh, let me see. Or 11, right? 12. Well, I'm going beyond that. Final motion. Oh. Oh. Yeah, um, so that's, you, you can see I the just, oh, nine. budget. Just, nine. Can I just ask you quickly, um, did the assessors agree to the $100,000 yes. transfer for yes. Oh, nice. Overlay? Yes, okay. they did. That's great. Yeah. All right. I have a memo from them. Okay, thank you. Um, so there's the SCEMS budget, um, and we're... Uh, well, Article 9 first, um, this was on my plate. I have a number of things that I wanted to accomplish uh, this year, and one was to formally, finally um, enterprise, create the sewer enterprise fund as a, uh, you know, mm -hmm. as an enterprise fund, not as a so-so enterprise fund. So that, that would do that with Article Could 9. Could you just um, go over real quickly, uh, how does that, what was the financial difference for a, a real enterprise fund ver versus? Uh, I don't think I can explain it in a way that makes sense even to me. <laughs> okay, no. <laughs> um, we it's went back technical, but it, 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 you know, it, it was kind of well, cause see, it what was, I was legitimate but loosey-goosey the way we had it. It, it well, was essentially, you go ahead. You were no, no. My question was the reason why we wanted it kind of a sort of a enterprise fund loosey-goosey was because if there was ever an emergency shortfall, they didn't have enough sewer reserves, they could come back to the town. Mm -hmm. But by making it be an enterprise fund that prohibits coming back to the town for money if there was an like a, a pipe burst and it's right. $2 million well, to replace or something. Well, it's not necessarily so. I think if they, you know, they wanted, they wanted, you wanted to ask the town for money, I think you could. I just don't know if it would, you know, be captured through this fund. But we, that's okay. a whole other discussion, by the way. Right. We're going to start I know, taking up. I know. The, I, and I won't. No, I'm just, sorry. No, no, I didn't. I know. I, 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 I just worry that, a, yeah. um, that we were. The reason why we had hesitated before is because we didn't want to tie our hands if there was an emergency or. Right. An we unex currently have a sewer reserve fund. Yes, which about, with about 400 and something thousand in and it. And we're going to make it into an enterprise fund. So they have that 400 and something. But yeah. if you had. A pipe burst or something right. break that's more than 400 and something, then you can't go to the finance committee for a reserve transfer or, right. you know, you have to, there has to be some mechanism to help, or you couldn't go to the, you'd have to have a special town meeting have anyway. To, do a town right. meeting. Right. Yeah. to have a stabilization transfer. So I guess, Two -thirds vote. I guess, well, how would you, you would how, do that. how would you take town stabilization funds and put into sewer reserve funds if there was a sewer break? No, no, no. You would you would have to have a special town meeting to tap into Under the, the current way we right. have it set up. The way we have it set up, but I guess it we becomes, would end it's a up separate account. Well, that and, just and, like scams. Yeah, and and I get that. I guess where I have a little bit of a I don't I, I'm not going I don't think I'm no confused. because uh, but but also it would be the bonding. Is this going to be a problem if they have to borrow money as a sewer group? Because well, see, the other thing is you would borrow money towards a fix. And and I think one of the quasi reasons we didn't do that is because obviously use our rating as the town to go get them borrow the money. I guess my concern is that I'm always trying to be fair is you, you call a special town meeting for the entire town and the entire town gets to say what can happen to the sewer users. That's you know Yeah but that's a, and I know that's kind of how it's been, <laughs> it's but how it's been. I, 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 how do you how do you say to the people? All right, if you're it's not like on sewer, we'd we'd like you not to vote on this. I don't know. 
No, they can come and vote on it. But well, but I know, but that's what my I problem, know, you know. know. It's like, well, that's it's, what it's I felt too. Like, so if you know, if we get, if, if we get fined for who knows what happens, and we get fined, it's the town that gets fined, right? Or is it not? Yeah, the, it's no, not it's the fine. sewer users. Right, it's the town that gets fined. So yeah, it is. It's an odd. It's an odd system, and I think we're and, still and trying to work out who pays for right. all of this we stuff. Will be, the study committee will be talking about that. Yeah, yeah. And I agree. It's it's complicated. So, like, say the discharge on the on the, in Old Deerfield, if we get fined for that, right. the town pays. The town pays for it. It right. wouldn't come out of the sewer reserve. This the bill is to the sent to the town. The fine is sent to the town. I mean, we we can decide how we pay, you for, know, it. Yep. pay for it, but okay. it's sent I to the it. town, and that's I why I, I only wanted us to pay attention to that a little mm. bit because mm. of the and excessive, I, excessive drawdown. I don't. I, I would worried about that. I don't really know the difference that well to say that to know if what effect it would have on the town. So I right. I know we need uh, a little bit more. But that's it's confusing, right? Do when we ask when it's not a straight. <laughs> It's not a straightforward uh, answer. I, About the inter, <laughs> quasi enterprise fund or enterprise right. cut and dry enterprise fund. Right. It's very confusing. We've had several meetings on I, it with yeah. the Department of uh, Revenue people coming out and giving us like, you know, 101 enterprise fund. Yeah, I'm really not sure. I'm really not sure how we've been doing it and sort of. I know. That's why I don't want to get into it. <laughs> I know because it's not. I just understood. Okay. okay. Next article. But we will have to have some answers we will. on town meeting floor. Yes. Because people will ask us to clarify it. And so if sure. we yep. can't even articulate it to ourselves or don't feel comfortable ourselves, then it's going to be very yeah, hard. I'll have good to articulate. Anyone ask a question, Trevor? On the count of one, we go Carolyn? Carolyn? <laughs> um, yeah, I she just. She knows how to handle, handle it. Well, well, well. Mm -hmm. It's okay. <laughs> I'm not really clear on the distinctions of what we've been doing um, and whether it's, well, the loosey-goosey right. term. Exactly. So I just, I don't well, think it's illegal or illegitimate. No, no, no. It's But not. this is just the really, the we way wanna, we should be We want to do it, it right. So, and exactly. I'll, I'll get that. Okay. Together. This is Article 9. 10 um, is the funding. And similar to the SCEMS budget, that's an enterprise fund. So we'll, we'll pop mm -hmm. in the budget in there. So... Um, the next one's the SCAMS budget, which you've already voted, yep. correct? Yep. Ashley, have you? Because the Finance Committee just approved that. Well, we did as a Board of Oversight. But not as Select Board. Oh, I guess okay. it, uh, that's right. Okay. As a Board, well, we voted um, actually, it. Actually, do I have one in the... I yes, have it. That's, uh, this is no, actually. Do you have the, the correct amount? For SCAMS? Yeah, because well, yes. we Wait. had voted... Um, um, the assessments reduced with the capital um, retained earnings. Yes. So this this is dated three nine. So one, do you have this? Oh, I do also have three thirty at the bottom. Let's um, see. Let me grab so. that. I have this full sheet, and then I have. <clears throat> You know what? I haven't put these in my book yet. Unfortunately, it doesn't say. I'll find it. Here. This is the 330 ones. Um, this is the, oh, the, the 330s? Finance Committee voted it last Where week. 327.065, and that's what's in here. Where am I finding that again? It should be public safety. It's yeah. separate. It's at the bottom. It's a separate, no, it's, yeah. It's way, it's, oh, yeah, it's, it's the last um, page, yeah. The. Oh, here it is. Right, warrant article. It's, it's public. It's three. Works. Uh, for us, it's three twenty-seven and three hundred twenty-seven thousand sixty-five dollars. And I think that's what I had in this page. Yes, that's uh, um, actually that is the correct is. with right. the because we put the um, retained earnings against it. So it's yes. three twenty-seven. Yep. I make a motion to approve three hundred twenty-seven thousand. Sixty-five dollars for the SCEMS um, fund. I'll second. Is there any further discussion? Nope. None. Hearing none. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Um, I just want to point out that it was three twenty-seven sixty-five 
versus the 387 990 that we paid in 2015 16. Yep. So that was, we're, we're considerably under mm -hmm. uh, oh, for paramedic 24 7 that's, service that's versus amazing. a basic maybe 20 minute response. So that was just very good still. I mean, we're really doing well. Yeah. Okay. I'm trying um, to take minutes and do this. And, and it's, it's oh, just to clarify, it's more yeah. than last year, but that's just because we, we, we decided we, to take retained earnings retain last year. Earnings. Yes. Yeah. And we have this. We have building. less return, retained earnings yep. uh, to pay down. Because we think we're going to spend them on trying to outfit the building. Yes, right. And we don't want to go back to the towns for money. Yep. Okay. Great. Um, so, Wendy, we're on article um, 12. 12. Um, which no, we just capital, voted. We just voted. Capital projects. All right, so the numbers are off. Page 13, trying to yep. get these numbers straightened out. Sure. Um, so that's the capital plan. Yep. Um, oh, this, she fixed this. Huh. Did we? So let's see. Let me Wait just look minute. over this capital plan again. It was fixed on the other one I had before. Hmm. Oh, right. right. So we do have the 25 in there for the feasibility study for the senior center. Okay, good. I just want to make sure that we haven't missed anything, right? Um, the 80, the 80,000, whatever you, we settle with on that study will come out of um, sewer user. So Correct. So that's why it's yep. not here. Shouldn't it be listed, though, anyway? Um, you know, that was my question. Yeah. And I didn't get I know we didn't anyone pushing on we don't that, miss so. we didn't miss their I mean we didn't meet their schedule this year but I don't know but everyone they everybody knows they so. all know yeah right and I've told them that okay proposal, yeah. okay so and stabilization this is what um, they, they keep going back and forth on finance but I believe that um, They're going to recommend 200,000 yes, instead of 500? Yes, I, I okay. think that's what we should recommend. That's what I got from their meeting as well. Right. And, okay. and yeah. the, I think the discussion there was um, that it, initially they didn't like it, but they came to a consensus that uh, because it was put into that uh, stabilization fund that it was going to take two-thirds mm -hmm. to get, to get it out. out. So it seemed like a safe so, place. Yeah, so. right. it is. And that's yeah. a low it's amount. It's really for... Yeah, yes, it I is was talking with Brenda we about, about it, and she said 200 to 500,000. Right. Originally so it was five. What is the dollar amount of that stabilization anyways? Just 200. We put 200 in last year. So it'll be so four now. Total? So it'll be four, four now. So, this, after this. so we just started doing that. Right. Yeah. We had oh. no, we only paid, we paid year to year. So if we had no money, you did no capital projects. If you had money, free cash, then you used your free cash And you still it. got money in the regular stabilization fund. Yeah. A million dollars. Mm -hmm. so. Yep. Rainy days. But yes, this is a capital yep. stabilization versus our regular. Um, Article 14. This is snow this and is ice. Snow and ice. Um, we're looking That's still up in the air, right? Yeah, it's still up in the air. It, it might be about 80, but we should wait and see. Okay. Um, okay. Got some. What uh, did we do last year, wasn't it? A 85? lot more than that, I thought. We did 90 it? last year. We did we 90? I almost think we did. I thought it was 85. It was yeah, but it then, was more than 70, that's for sure. Right. And then, yes. Well, and last they, year we appropriated 117. 117 was what our number was last year? That's what Yeah, 117, 102. Yep. But was that in the beginning or well, was that with the addition That was, after? I think, the addition after. Okay. So yep. what was that conversation that Kevin had with us a, a little bit? He didn't want to go over a certain dollar amount. Right. At first. You know, because you yeah, because you back can't get it back. Back. You can so, come for a reserve. So do you want to just change? But that's what I'm saying. Originally, we appropriated eighty-five thousand last year, wasn't it? Is that what? It oh, was? you mean the residue, the res, the the the, the one be the same budget every year. Right. Oh yeah, no, uh, that's right. He doesn't want to go above because, with climate change, which is what sometimes 70? you go, no, eighty-five. I eighty-five. Because sometimes use? what happens is. Um, you have good years and you have bad years, right. and, and you just average. So what Kevin did is I told him just to average. So what's the difference And he here? averaged in the last year. I'm, I'm a little confused. Oh, this, this is, is what we spent thus we far. Actually spend. My understanding is okay. that he'd like to, per, you know, up front purchase some more um, equipment, salt, sand. So 
for We don't know exactly. As of today, we don't know exactly he's going to be uh, getting back to us on Okay. That. We're waiting that for That would Kevin. be more of the actual amount. Okay. That we spent. This year there was a lot of, you know, little... How, I mean, there were storms. There were storms nonstop. No, I just happened to notice on, on this thing, I don't want to backtrack, but it says the Frontier Tractor is 17. Is that, oh, that's our is that oh, our no. split? Oh no, I think I think that's or at half. that. Our half. Our half. It's fifty-one okay. percent. Okay. Yep. yep. Or fifty-two yep. percent. Whatever our percentage is. Oh, Andy, it gets better. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be in there. <laughs> Doing mystery science theater three thousand. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, the next of the Preservation uh, Act. Community preservation article. Um, Mm -hmm. Requests, approvals. So, you want to just read through those? Yeah, I'm just wondering, have they? You don't really have a say at this point. I understand, but um, I'm just wondering. You were, do, do were get there, to approve the warrant. And were there any uh, projects they wanted to undertake? Is that yeah, what these that, are? You see okay. The motions? Okay. Good. That's what I wanted. Fifty dollars, uh, five thousand um, dollars, twenty-four six. Well, the others are are. Um, the just putting yes, yes the amount in that's required by law they're actually so all of these there's just uh, two projects yeah well, that's what i see year. it's really not so much this year we're going to transfer thirty thousand dollars to the open space what's the balance in that do you have an idea he uh usually the moderator ha or dan graves we're going to have we that. talked about this um uh, lisa brought reminded me of kind of what it uh, not prepared it was last year and so I right. talked with Brenda about making sure the committee has that information and can because that question is always asked questions. every year yeah, yeah. that's questions every year, every year. But how, what are our balances we are going to be well prepared this year okay good those questions so that reserve fund for open space what is that money used for um, for uh, rec purchase of recreational or um, AP uh, eight match for like they um, did the APR well, or they did the uh, Playground, playground at the school, yeah. that kind of stuff. And the same thing with the thirty thousand dollars for the community housing. That's um, that goes in. That's oh. like we're, our pot of money for senior housing. housing. You know, there well, was. And then what what we're doing is you can use that pot of money for senior housing plus the general. Well, you know, if you I want. heard uh, Great Barrington today or last night voted to to use some of their CPA money to um, help people buy homes so it would free up rental property because there wasn't a lot of rental property, I guess, out there. So they were, I guess, 80 other communities have done that same thing where they've huh. used their CPA funds to help. Leverage's maybe, done a terrific maybe job. Maybe you know, like yeah. the, it, it frees uh, up rental property because there's not a lot of rental property, so it gets people into a buying a home. I don't know if it helps them down payment yeah. or something like that, and then it rolls back There's a lot of great examples of all kinds of ways you, you can use this money. You can um, do it for rehab, like um, aging, um, seniors aging yeah. in place. You can do, well, you know, like ramps and stuff. Like I've that. tried we, to do that. We've talked about we've talked that and, before. And I've been told over and over again by CPC it's yeah. can't under the legislation. There was another program that the I Housing thought, Authority we were, does, we, though. I thought that's we, our that block could, grant that's money. That's the block grant money, Yeah, right? but you can't you, supplement the block grant money? I thought we could. Other places do it, but... May oh, not be, oh, 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 you're directed. talking about ta our town. But we could just vote, you know, you bring it to the town No, meeting. the CPC, uh, the, co uh, the Community Preservation Coalition has said, and, and I have the charts and I have mm -hmm. the memos and all of this, that we really did, can't, we're not supposed to do it. Oh. They do it. A lot of things were done, like a lot of communities were using before. Um, they changed the law to allow you to use uh, recreation funds on existing parks and, and ball fields and playgrounds mm -hmm. that you could only do it to build a new one. But towns, do, they didn't want to build right. new ones. They wanted the last so, low, low on the priority list was maintaining them. And so they were already spending money. I know numerous communities that had done that. So they finally changed the law so that you can you spend it, it to upgrade a, oh. an existing uh, park. Good. So we just. could do this um, out here right. for the seniors' the walking area. Mm -hmm. um, you remember you had been talking about that? Yeah. So we could do that with that CPA money. So All right. Then there's $15,000 for preservation committee administrative expenses. 
That law. actually rolls over every year. Yeah, they, I don't they think don't, they, spend they spend any it. out of it, they but I think by law it. you have to put it in there. So that, is there a, another large pot of money in that mm. expense No, it just rolls over because they never yeah, use it. Yeah, they don't spend it. When it rolls over, where does it go, though? Back, Back into, into the fund. CPA. Um, I think they may be um, uh, wanting to use this to complete the um, inventory. Some of this, some of this money. For okay. the oh, you mean the inventory of historical really, houses? Yeah. Oh. So I don't know. I've asked about that. Thanks. Did you say next or? No. Oh, you don't usually say that. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know I, you I, want I, to. I, I, <laughs> They, no. they, kept, they put this aside every year and they don't use it. I, I, this is the first time I've heard that they were even thinking of using for anything. Um, it would be nice if they would. I, I, we need to. We well, need to do some stuff. We don't have stuff, staff. We don't. I mean, this is built right. into the legislation. It's all totally right. proscribed for put us. It in. So if, if you don't use the money, it just. I know, but the, this, this is what I continually hear about this whole program. That's why so many people want it reduced. Why? Mm -hmm. Because you're building up, you're building up. I, I have that on the board. What, <laughs> you know, what? For what though? Senior, our senior housing project. Well, it, there's it, a, this, a, this administrative expenses doesn't go into that. Well, it could. But it, it could do. Yeah, it could. I believe these percentages are, are in the legislation. The, right. It's by law. You have to put that in the, there yeah. just to the, every year, so you have enough to do whatever you're. That's doing. Just if you the choose to do something, if you amount, don't yeah. choose to use it, then it just rolls back in. And so this hundred ninety-five thousand dollars is not new income; it's just being Correct. once again rolled over. Yes, it's uh, rolled over. Uh, no, it no, it's putting new. into the big pot. You have yeah, a these are new income. Hundred ninety-five is the balance of estimated revenues of whatever comes in. That's what's well, coming do, in. So if you add all these together, that's what we're generating this year. Yes, which is about sixty. It should be around three hundred. Three hundred between 000. what we get and what the state gets. Yeah, versus. we're estimating around three hundred. We've been we've been putting in a little over three hundred. State maybe doesn't disagreeing. get anything. Yeah, what? The state doesn't get anything. No, no, gives. No, 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 no. gives us the money. The forty four percent. Oh, match. okay. Yep. And the, no, we don't give the state. Anything. So this, the real this estate three hundred thousand yeah. includes the match from the state. Yes. Estimated yes. match. Estimated, estimated match. We'll have, we should have all of that explained and be able to be explained. Yes, I know. So absolutely. It's, and it's a, it is complicated. It is. So, so Article 16 is the, um, the back non, to a dollar. The dollar back to a the, dollar instead of 117. That was pretty good. Well, so. no, it would have been 17 plus transportation and any education, so special ed. It would have been around that. 50. Okay. So that's a pretty good savings. Thanks. Yes. Um, um, I, I will find out the details of how you figure that out, but I appreciate you earned, just earned your salary right there. <laughs> so um, we're just, we're still awaiting. I didn't talk them out of it. <laughs> I know. But so 17, you're just awaiting a number, which is probably well, 100 can, again. You can want, you can decide. Well, I think we, we do 100 every year, right? Or at least in the last yeah, two years. That's I've what done. they can have Yeah, that's kind of what they. Um, we had, I had encouraged them to because. You know. It was small for a while, and we, yeah. I think last year you went up from 90 to 100, if I remember yeah. right. But, yeah. And it seems to be a decent number, and we haven't, we haven't no, asked for a whole lot this year anyways. But no, but I mean, in we case, yeah. in case you we need to. We will have a few things, like yep. Di Diana. And yeah, yep. I mean, we haven't spent another, a lot of these things are items that we didn't spend in another, but we can't take it from that account to pay right. for something. So. Right, right. Um, What's the next? So okay, so the next two are that uh, that um, municipal contract. modernization chapter 30B procurement law, where we were allowed to go have contracts be for five years instead of three. Yep. Um, it's just giving you permission to do that. It, would you choose to do so? Okay. okay. The, and the following one, I talked to the um, at least Karen at the assessors. They don't anticipate anything, but I figured if uh, we take it off. Well, and when they renew, if they renew the current five-year contract, um, you, and someone would have to remember <laughs> I know. that well, we have to get town, unless the law right. changes no, again. You well just so you can leave it on or take done. it off, but we decided we could leave it on. It would yeah. well, literally take a couple done? minutes to vote well, what it. What kind of contract are they talking about? They did the, the Patriots. The, like the Patriots. Uh, quinquennial yeah, but, contract. But you know. this says, you know, for not more than five years, provided that the total contract value does not exceed Ten thousand dollars. Well, that exceeds it in one year. Where does it? Um, where does it say the ten ten thousand? 
Oh, that's the one above. That's Kip. the one above oh, Kip. Yeah, theirs is, doesn't have a number on it. Ours. That's our restriction. We're, we're talking about assessors with no restriction. 19. Sorry. No, that's do, okay. Do you, well, let me. Well, do we want it? I mean. No, because the. Yeah. I, uh, no, I, Kip's right. The Patriot yeah, contract. I'm I know, but I mean, I'm just more. wondering how, but wouldn't you want to put a cap on it at some point? I mean, it, they could negotiate a contract for $200,000. How much is the Patriot? Isn't the Patriot like, around three or? I don't know. It's about a hundred thousand. It's it's ninety nine thousand right. dollars per year. Or is it per year? Isn't it ninety nine per year? No. It's no. ninety nine total for the five year. Okay. Because it's like 20, oh, that's 20 under, a the year. New, under the new under the new modernization. Year. Yeah, it's got about bumped twenty down. a year. Yeah. Okay. I don't. I just posed the question, All but right, it doesn't so really matter. I'm making notes here because I do question that ten thousand. That seems. But you have to pay for Why it in all one year. Why would you want a five-year, $10 yes. million dollar contract? Yeah. So I, I just have to question that okay. number. Um, okay, this is something Barbara requested. Um, it's something we could have done a few years ago, but a variety of technical reasons, we now we are ready to do it, which would allow, um, this is for uncashed checks. Um, it's It's a... It's a simplified process for un unclaimed checks. Okay. Um, it's it's really housekeeping, and it, so it clears out our record. If we write a check and nobody cashes it exactly. for many years, it, then yeah. we can just wipe Rather it off. Rather than go into all the details on that. Yep. It's, it's, Sounds it's, good. It's a good practice. Um, so we we'll amend the bylaws so to the, certain changes. Those are, WF is me and LM is Lisa, if you see the comments on the side. I don't know if we're going to have capital improvements um, Changes bylaw changes, but I'm leaving that in there. Oh, Maybe so we don't have do. anything yet, but yes. but this may be yes. something they might want to move forward. Now, on. Um, the next. Do you want? Did anybody want to say something? Hmm. Okay. The next one is um, I d determined. I found out. You know, we've been trying mm -hmm. to move, and, and David Nixon told me today it's been 20 years in the making. I thought it was about nine or ten. The town has been trying to move the. Um, personnel policies to a handbook form. Uh, there's just too Versus much that bylaw. changes in the law yeah. um, that we need to just keep up, it up to date. And we've continuing old-fashionedly <laughs> kept it as a bylaw, which can only be changed by town meeting, right. as opposed to recommendation from the personnel board committee to select the select board. board to make a change, right? which is the way, a, sort of, it's got to be a more living, breathing talk. Now, we don't want to make changes all the time, but, you know, a new law comes in. We've had a few things come in, uh, fair pregnancy, pay equity. Right. Things keep changing, state and federal level. Yep. And we need to keep up with these. Um, no, it makes so sense. So I, I determined, I found out that we could, in fact, instead of waiting a whole other year to have our policies in place, because the personnel board has been working on those, we need to finish up with them. I want to take a look at it, I'll bring it to the board, have council look at it, and really update those. But we, we're not going to have that done in time for a town meeting. But we could adopt the sort of shell of a bylaw, which I see replacing it, to take effect at a later date so we don't have to wait till April. I made that January 1st. So for us to have our employee handbook slash you know, uh, personnel policy in place, um, so that this, do you see what I'm saying? I do. I completely agree. <laughs> so we can just no, I understand. smoothly yep. um, go to that. It makes sense. And, um, you know, it would be vetted by all these levels, including the um, employees. Yeah. So this is what I propose to substitute um, a very, very basic thing, which basically um, creates, I'm changing it from board to committee, personnel committee, and sets out the membership, um, what they're, you know, the numbers um, that you, they're appointed by the select board, um, what their task is. Um, so would this then also, um, so this would take into account the compensation study yes, as well. Yes, the last section has to do that. So it gets adopted by, the, there is a state law that actually determines that. So, so does that then, um, would the compensation plan, as we're voting it this year, would that have to get voted every year still? Yes. Okay, it still That's does that. Okay, gotcha. All right, yep, gotcha. Although I think if it doesn't change, I'm not sure if it does, but it's always changed even a tiny bit. I think. Right, okay. Uh, well, actually, I'm not, well, I just whatever. wanted to make, 
make sure that town yeah. meeting still had a vote on that. Yes. Um, so we're get, uh, they're meeting um, next week, and I'll, we'll talk about that. Um, by the way, Lisa Mead has already seen all of this. I sent okay. rough forms to Dan Graves and to Barbara and Brenda. Brenda and I have been going back and forth on the monetary things. The next one is uh, one brought to our attention by Bruce St. Peter's. Um, uh, this is about clothing allowance. Um, there is a statutory uh, uh, acceptance in order to have a clothing allowance, and this would um, accomplish that. Okay. Um, the next and the next one is the sales tax on marijuana, mm -hmm. three percent, um, which is the the maximum you could ask for. The next one is as we've talked about, um, uh, we've hit the limit. Oh, did I bring that in? On um, our wine and malt off premise mm -hmm. licenses, and we're close on something else. So we're. Under Massachusetts law, some people say, I thought they got rid of that, but they have not gotten rid of it. We still need permission um, from, we have to get approval through the legislature to up those quotas. Okay. And this is authorizing. Is the original quota set by your population? Yes. Hmm. Yeah. And uh, some other you know what? factor, um, but that's basically it. And can I've we, asked John, can, and he has no. Um, yeah, go ahead. No, I mean you had the marijuana um, thing at the tax, mm -hmm. which obviously we could put we have, it closer to the. But well, what I was just going to say, how about we move um, the liquor thing up, mm -hmm. swap, and I don't see you don't okay. have you don't have the mosquito district bylaw in here either. Because we're still working on the language Hammering that for out. that. I know, yeah. but I. I yep have that up here before we get to the marijuana stuff. So can okay. we can we make one, two is liquor and three is marijuana. Yes. That's the order. Okay. Um so if we could have article uh, I agree that the article 23 should be the clothing thing mm -hmm. to get that o out of the way. Yeah, I've got it. I don't know what the final numbers will be, Carolyn, but I do oh, have okay. that order. So right. then, the, control, then mos the mosquito control district, the liquor license legislation, and then the marijuana tax. That's yeah. the okay. order you want it in. Yeah, yes. only okay. because I think all the marijuana, if we start talking about marijuana, we should have all yeah, the everything. marijuana s stuff together. Okay, so the next is the, um, the so then, zoning, by, zoning related right. to marijuana. Okay. I've been just kind of trying to whip it all oh, into no, shape. Oh, no, no, but it... Um, organize it as we go well, along. But, okay. Yeah, I just think we need to have all the marijuana stuff together. So okay, like, but, um, um, like you got here a petition well, the, article. Right, 26 should, should kind of be go at, down. That should be at the like end. Like 30, right? Yeah. Oh, I put it at the end. Take okay, it out. Great. Oh, yeah, okay, great. You'll see, yeah. we'll get to it. I didn't oh, okay. that. Oh, um, okay. I, I just, I, don't, I didn't want any of the marijuana stuff split up. Right. I yep. wanted it all. I got it. Okay. But let me go back to the liquor license thing for a moment. Okay. Um, if you go to page 18 yep. at the top, um, I just thought that this seemed reasonable, but it's open for discussion. I just put that in there. You can see it's asking for three additional wine and malt licenses. That would be um, uh, off, you know, like a, a package store. Um, no, not like a package store, like, um, like the, the Mart the um, international market that we were going to have the hearing on yep. Wednesday, but it's now scheduled for two weeks. Um, they are looking for wine and malt um, to sell at the international market. There's a nice story Andy did in today's paper about that market. Yep. Um, so this would give us three more. And let's see. Didn't, I thought we had two different kinds that we were asking for. Uh, um, Let me while see. she's looking for that, um, yeah, I, increasing I the number of licenses for that um, affect the, the marijuana licensing? I don't, I don't think it will. What, no. the alcohol? If you the add one licensing? or two? Yeah. Because right. it's 20% yeah. of. Yeah, but then it's so still you, not going to so give you 20% for another. I thought I brought the chart out with me. Um, it's still it's, it's still, still under ten. Two. It's right. still under two. Yeah. Right. I mean, the you know your twenty percent is still under two, because it's like one point three or something. I think we're good, but I will make moment, a note right? to check on. So, so you want to make sure it's no more than one. 
We want to keep it at one. One right. retail. Check one retail of, operation yeah. at the moment. I mean, we can change it at a later date. But, yeah, but just to start. But we really want to have a conservative rollout that we can control the whole process 100%. And I don't want to be having to issue two licenses. I think we're good, but I will look into yeah. that. Yeah, just, um, just and it check. It might, might depend on what type of liquor license, too, versus... Yeah, a, I'm, not sure. um, I'm not sure. Yeah, I I, we were did. basing it on 10, so... Right, that we have 10 off-premise. Yeah. yeah. And we were hitting the wall, and, or something else. So there was some other one. Oh, here it is. It's No, it says three additional... Oh, yeah, this is both... Three additional wine and malt license not to be drunk in the And three additional, okay, so this is both, this is repetitive. I gotta clean this up, talk to Lisa about this. I'll get back to you. <laughs> I also wanna um, just, we haven't had any discussion as a board on this. So before we have a final, can we can we put this on the yes. agenda as a discussion item? Because I, I'm not, yes, I I'm think not, it's a great I have idea. to say I'm not, I certainly don't wanna be anti-business, but on the other hand, do we really need more liquor licenses? I don't know. I mean, I kind of want to have a discussion about that. And what, yes. what would we, by not increasing it at this time, what, what businesses were we impeding? Do we have to wait? Does this have to be something that is voted on at town meeting? To authorize you to submit legislation to ask for additional licenses, yes. Okay, so I if, have we, don't, move on if we that, don't, whether we just, we don't have to. We don't have to ask. I mean, maybe we can get permission to ask, but not have to ask. Correct. Right, we don't have to I, ask, but we can get permission. I, well, I think, I think I would just like more discussion because I can't, I, advocate, agree. I can't advocate for a position on this because I haven't really thought it through. I, I agree, yeah. I totally agree. Yep. I yep. think I brought it to your attention, we're hitting the wall on those, but we didn't That's have a further right. discussion. Yeah. So um, the other thing is, and I saw this happen in Northampton, um, they did petition for extras, and those that held licenses were not happy about that because wow, they, competition. many of them had bought their licenses and paid thousands of dollars because the way the system, you know how the yes, system is yep. set up now, and then someone could just come in and pay the 2000 or $3,000 they were charging as opposed to 25000 because they had just, so well, anyway, see, that's not our situation. No, but I, I think we have to have a discussion so we can say what yep. what is really best for Deerfield. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Trevor, do you feel comfortable? I agree. That? Yeah, oh, well, I, I don't mind up, having a I think discussion. we should show you the list that we've got and where the places are and what we anticipate. Yeah, okay. I agree. And then just speculation as to what po possibly could be coming to town, and maybe that's something we do next year on mm -hmm. town meeting. If we don't have, if we, none of us can no, have I, heard I of anybody trying to really come to town, well, maybe we should just sit on it for a little bit. I, I, I don't know, Wendy. I understand what you're trying to do. You're trying Look, to be, I'm, make, I'm, be proactive. I'm personally very conservative things about this, but I've seen, I understand the other perspective on this very yeah. well in terms of restaurants. I've seen mm -hmm. Greenfield go through that. Right. Um, in fact, I don't get enough that. drinking establishments, but, but to, yeah, for it business. really no, made a difference in a, in a better yeah. restaurant scene. So, and they don't you know, want to be. But this is not that. We're, sure. we're okay on restaurants at this point. Right. Here. Right. So I have that on the agenda for further okay. discussion. I'll get more information together for you. Okay, that would make me feel so, better. So, and I you think. know, these are the this is what came forward from the planning board with marijuana, mm -hmm. both on um, the prohibition. Where's the prohibition? On it's this? the Article Twenty Seven. I think it's, it just seems a little funny the way it's put no, in there. No, um, page eighteen. Page eighteen. Huh. Shouldn't that be on the end? It's the very first section. Twenty one. This is one. what. Um, Adam Costa brought to the meeting. Yeah. What What were you saying? Okay. No, I. What was I, funny? No. <laughs> well, I, I just it's like part of that section twenty one, but I guess it's all it has to be that way. To me, it seems like it would have been a. Separate you mean article. section of of one twenty one? Yep. I am going to question that as well. Yeah, it should be a separate article. Yeah. Well, then there's the next article. Which is twenty seven. Which is no. the zoning? Yeah, just ignore those numbers. <laughs> um, that well, I thought we were just talking about 27. Well, there's no, two we're talking about 27. 27. There's two 27. Yeah, that's okay. two, two 27. Oh. Ignore the numbers. We're still popping 27. things I understand. Look at yeah. 27, but ignore the numbers. No, the second 27. <laughs> the second 27. <laughs> sort of. Okay. <laughs> 
So when do we have to vote to put this on the ballot, the prohibition on the ballot? Well, um, I think that um, it would be too late to put it on the next, on this one. I think I was talking with Barbara about that today. So, so you would have to have a special election, I believe, to do that. Special election? To do, to, if you decided to, yep. if the board decided to put it on the ballot, it's yep. your decision. On the yep. ballot. On the ballot. Yep. You didn't, because of the timing of our election and our town meeting, it's too close to the annual town election ballot to get it on that one. So what ballot does it go uh, on? I You'd don't. have to set a special election. Why couldn't you put it on this one? I mean, it's just not, they're I not printed yet. The and the, window, the only reason I, I'm saying that, if, you, if we do do that, closed. I mean, sure. can, can you imagine the chaos of that? If we get this all set up and then it happens after the fact and it's rescinded? Well, I, I mean, I, I think we need to discuss it. And I, I mean, I have to say the reason why I'm not for it being on a town election ballot is because, you know, there was over 3,000 voters that voted in the November ballot. And I mean, we've had 171 300, 200 people voting at the May ballot. And so, it, and there's only fair. a month, and there's only a month or so, five weeks out. You can't, you know, it's hard to get, I mean, people just, you, you, you think you're getting as much information out there, and, you, and it's, you can't get people to well, give the information. And, and the thing is, I know you say people change, which is absolutely true, because I voted no in the November ballot but I would vote yes in, a, in the May val ballot mm -hmm. because um, everybody else has the already voted has for changed. it. So, and it, the state has voted for it. So it's like a done deal. The train has left the station kind of thing. So we gotta, we gotta learn how to do, deal with it. And, and my big thing is, Kip, is that you know our biggest asset truly is that we have a great police department that's on top of things. And we have a great um, resource officer and so we, we would end up responding, and we would have no funding to respond. It would end up being taxpayer money. And then, on top of that, we, we wouldn't have the mo money from a host agreement to do the educational outreach, because part of the host agreement, that money pays for educational outreach, okay. it was what you negotiate for. And so, sure. to me, the biggest thing is to get it into the schools, the, the elementary school especially, and so kids will make good decisions. And I, I don't want to interrupt, but it, I, I just want to respond, and I, I'll forget oh, okay. all of the oh, issues. Oh no, okay. I, so okay, so all, let's let's well, let's go over. Well, I'll go all, over my points, and the, then well, you can respond. So how about that? <laughs> that the May ballot versus the November ballot. The November ballot was over three thousand people, and they voted yes. And the, and the well, May not three thousand people didn't vote yes. No, no, no. But they voted. Three thousand people showed up. Showed up. Right. It was three thousand ninety-five, right. and and there was, um, you know, three more than three hundred people that voted, you know, right. beyond that. So, so it wasn't like it was overwhelming, but okay. it was certainly. Well, okay. To that point, I I, I the reason I'll disagree with that is because. On one hand, you're saying, well, all of the people voted back then, and you can't expect a, a good result at the May one, but yet we're relying on a good result to pass a $14 million budget. And, you know, if we're going to allow, if, the, if we trust our community to make a proper decision on a $14 million budget, shouldn't we also trust them on a decision as important as this? The problem is you're not going to get the information out that they can make an informed I, I think, decision. I think that they do. I think it's already out there. So you, you, you well, we can disagree. Yeah. So well, right, but the I, numbers are what's are important, and the numbers show the numbers on the November ballot were, you know, gigantically different. You know, three thousand over three thousand voters versus a few hundred, right. and as low as 171 people voted. A couple of years ago, and so you know, you're talking about low, low numbers. I mean, it just. But, but you also have to think about why did so many people come out? They didn't all come out because of the marijuana thing. Well, but I'm they had their choice then. I understand it, but I'm just saying the, the vast majority of the people came out for the presidential election. Right. It was. But but, the, but that the was what. Thing. But you had the biggest chance of taking true. 
temperature of the of what the com this That's is very, true. Kip, this is very, very difficult for me because I always agree that the community should make the decision. But in this case, I honest to God feel that people would not make, don't have the ability to have all the information in May because you're not taking I, into consideration the, what w the outreach would do for our schools, the education part of it for our schools, and what we would have to pay I mean, we just would have no revenue, marijuana, but we would be sub-responding. I don't think the marijuana is going to be any different than alcohol. Uh, you know, we I have package stores and stuff like that, and our police department still handles that. If they do alcohol, you know, outreach to the students, this would just be another word in the same you know, in the same context. But then we have no revenue, though. You and know, we're talking about one place. Like I said to you before, if everything works out good, that's good. But if it doesn't work out good, if the community makes a decision, the community made the decision. If you choose to make the decision for them and it doesn't work out, it's on you. It yes. is. It is. It I'll is. Take, I'll take that. And I, I'm actually, that's why it's I been a very it. hard decision for me to make because I do believe that the community should have input. But on this, in this case, I feel the best long-term decision for the town of Deerfield is to not put it on the ballot. Well, I, I, I know how you feel, so I'm not going to, you know, drag this thing down okay, anymore. Okay, so well, but we I, I can think, vote. We can vote then. Right, but I think, I think, I think you're going to regret it. Well. I think this, you know, it, it's not, the whole thing about America is to be able to have a choice. And if you take something as important as this decision away from the people, and you know what, they probably would pass. But if you don't give them the choice, that's going to be a bigger problem than whether it passes or fails. Well, I think, in my, my opinion, they've had the choice. It was in a presidential election with over 3,000 people in our town. And they, then they, in that vote, they expected us to regulate it as alcohol and to move forward. And as officials of the town, we should be doing that. And I think that's what we did. And then to kind of just say, well, we're, we're going to decide to give you a choice all over again. It doesn't make sense. I think I think hmm. I, I should take responsibility for what they asked us to do, um, and and move forward with with the regulations. Do you remember the conversations that I think both of you had with members of different boards about this issue, and that you know other boards, if they had taken the position that you took in another thing, this wouldn't even be coming forward because they wouldn't have acted on it. They wouldn't have even probably been here then this wouldn't have been moved forward. But they did what was best for the community, went through the whole process, even though it might have been painful and awkward and all of the other but they didn't even to it. That board didn't even recommend their own bylaw. They didn't even recommend That's to right. move forward their own bylaw. So yeah. I, yeah. But, but they went through the process to put it in front of the I people. I know, but mm -hmm. I have and to tell you. that's the important part. Yeah, but There's I have to tell you, I'm appalled that there was serious consideration, and I thank you for making sure that they actually showed up, but there was serious consideration not to show up so it would fail. So they had no quorum and the process would fail. Isn't that, to me, that's taking your personal opinion and not doing your job as elected oh, wait, official. Wait, wait, wait. But, I understand. I, kept, but I, mean, they, I was appalled. You they, yourself you said you were appalled, and, you, and I appreciate that you made the effort to make them show up. But the, the, the issue here is that you saw they, they voted not to recommend their own bylaw to move the process to the people. And you were appalled at their decision. Why should they not be appalled at your decision? Because you know, the people let, have already had the choice. Okay. Right. Uh, and that's why I'm saying that we had over 3,000 voters make the choice. Okay. And that in a May election, we have such low turnout that you, you're nullifying the 3,095 people that have already voted. And that's my concern. I mean, do you interpret it that way, too? That, that's how okay. I feel. How, I mean, just how... If you go back to this article, 120, so, 127. So, wait, so, Wendy, what do we have to do? We have to vote as a board that we're not going to put it on the ballot? And that just means that... I under, so our understanding is that we have to put it on the warrant because it came yeah. as a recommendation of the planning board. I don't know if you have to decide that now. 
Well, let's just get it over with. If it's not, well, if, uh, if we don't have to decide it now, I'll wait. Well, no, well, because waiting is the same thing as voting no. Yeah, you know, I, I mean, yeah. yeah. Okay, because, because it won't you be time. Make a motion. So. I, I will make well, the motion I, that yes. we. Oh, wait. There is time, but anyway. Oh, well, maybe the time is. But I, I would not want to blame it on Barbara not having, the, you know, enough time to print the ballots or whatever. I would. I would take responsibility for it. Oh, so yeah, it's not her I, fault at all. No, right. no, it isn't. So mm -hmm. I would make the motion that we do not, um, the select board does not recommend to um, forward the uh, prohibition article to put on the ballot. Second. Um, is there any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. I'm opposed. And one op opposition. I, I, I totally get it. It was very, it's, this is a very hard decision for me, but I, I feel like we just have to move forward and do the best job we can. Okay. Um, so on the. So um, I, I'm looking at it, it is fine. It's just that it said 27 and 27, but I think it's, um, it should be, you know, for the purposes of looking at these two pages, 27 is the prohibition, 28 is the zoning bylaw. Okay. For you know establishments, There's little typo things, but um, you know, you know what this is. You were at the planning board hearing. It's yes. essentially what was. Okay, so so that will get cleaned up. I mean, because yeah, you were, it's actually what um, it just came forward from. Um, yeah, Adam. It got divided up for some reason. That should, isn't it one article or is yeah, it two no, it, for the overlay? Let's see. Well, it's Don't overlay. You're changing the name of the overlay. Oh, so it's the bylaw, and then it's... You have to change the name of the overlay from the medical marijuana overlay to um, just a m m marijuana, marijuana establishment. Yeah, marijuana uh, overlay district. The reason why is because we're using the same overlay district mm -hmm. as the medical marijuana district. We're not changing the district. So why did you want to change? Why can't it just say medical marijuana? Because we we're trying, we have to encompass recreational. So we're we're using the same overlay district, I, I the same restriction of one establishment, whether it's medical or recreational. I'm There's only get one. I'm pretty sure we had that discussion with Adam when he was here, and he said that it didn't matter. And if you left it medical, I forget why the reason was. No, What's he's that? no, it does matter. I, I listen. I I, I, I was I went to all the hearings. Okay, it does What's, matter. Yeah. What's, Okay. That you change the name from medical to just marijuana, from medical because marijuana. Because they're they're encompassing it's in the both. D what's happening is DPH, all types of marijuana D DPH yeah. regulates medical marijuana right now, and what's happening is DPH's responsibilities are migrating over to the can uh, cannabis to commission. Sort. So it's ch oh. it's the, it's to change right. it from medical marijuana overlay district to substitute it with. Marijuana Overlay District, which encompasses right. both, the both recreation. Re so you have the same overlay district, yeah. which is just basically down here, and you have one establishment, whether it's medical or recreational or both, you can only have still one establishment in Deerfield at the moment. That's what we choose to cap it at at the moment. Okay. It, it, it's, it's to be relatively conservative. I know you had talked about who is the special permit granting authority. Did you work that out? In, um, in well, how I, that it's work? my intention to read uh, um, amend it on the floor. Amend it on the town meeting floor. Okay. Um, to have the select board be the um, permitting special permitting permit authority. authority. And and again, it's just I let the town meeting decide. People can decide. They can watch the YouTube videos of the. Public I, hearing. It's funny now you want them to decide, but y you know better for them before. I, Kip, I have always. That, Kip, I have. That's why I told you it was a hard decision for me to make, well, because I right. always do agree that people should make the decision. They should participate and make a decision, but my, the lack of participation in a May ballot is what concerns me. Okay. So um, anyway, I would intend to do that, and um, I, I, what I can do is. Um, read what I intend to do at another meeting in a couple of weeks. So people, I, I just want to be transparent. Next week, if you could. Yeah. You have to, um, well, we'll finish this. We need to close it tonight. Okay. 
formally. Um, that doesn't mean we can't oh, we can't one, still work it? on it, but no, because um, we got Bruce's. So you're gonna yeah, um, you're Bruce's, right? Bruce's. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then uh, anything else? I guess that not. No, just a few things that you've brought up that I've noted that we need to put on there. Okay. There's no other initiatives or anything else we're looking at? Well, we, you know, we had talked about Wendy, we had talked about the sidewalks, but Wendy feels really comfortable that we Doing can. Doing the complete streets. Complete streets will accomplish that. Because I remember, well, we, yeah. I mean, we had talked about the Well, if we get a grant. <laughs> but if I think that's the sort of. I mean, that's you know, the avenue. Because we don't, we don't have. Well, uh, what do we I have don't know the, what you do with that at this point. We don't have I mean? the money for anything right now, anyways, but. I mean, we really need the complete streets to be completed so that we can apply for grants to do well, that work. Yeah. Your hesitation is? Oh, am I just hearing all of this and thinking about, well, the, we could look at the big picture and say, where, you know, do we want to get into a, a sidewalk program and make sure we have that money, not just for a certain area, but, you know. Well, whatever. you know, we had talked about splitting up the sidewalks, you know, doing Elm Street and then doing one side of North mm -hmm. Main and then the other side of North Main and mm -hmm. then, you know. S but down. I think that needs some we need a lot of help, money. right? I mean. Serious money for this. Yeah, yeah. and we need to put did all you, of the projects, you, that, you these big projects the in front of you. Because, you know, we said it was going to be about three to 400,000 to do Elm Street. 450, it's going to be closer to like 250. To do that? Mm -hmm. To do that? Okay. That would be great. That's great. That's do more doable. Yep. Um, should we? So, the thing I is, I, I hate to I hate I to do any of that to, yeah, kind of can't. stuff on special town meeting because right. people don't like to. And I understand it. We shouldn't be spending money if you know well, people should come to the big meeting. Well, why don't we we'll wait that completed streets yeah. and you see how that goes? I mean, it, it, right. you know, it's been there for a long time. And really get some serious big capital planning. I agree. Going. I agree. All okay. the projects. I just look at them and I just pace feel like them. I, I know. Promise I know. sidewalks for, not promise, but I, I, that's been an initiative that I really want to do. I just don't know how to go about it. <laughs> and from what I understand, complete streets, because so well, we can get some grants. But yeah. that stuff needs to happen. They're a mess, and it, it, they look horrible. It makes our town look well, horrible. They're I unsafe think, for our seniors to walk. I think it's worth talking to Kevin um, and seeing about what we can do if the, we have some money, whatever, in Chapter 90 or whatever, if we can do some pieces of work around right. that. Um, but again. Well, maybe we I, should, maybe I, we should, um, when Kevin is feeling a little bit better, then maybe we should um, get a little meeting, meeting meet together. with him and say, okay, this is our pavement management plan. You were going to zero, you That's know. Our sidewalk management plan. Yeah. And have, try to integrate a sidewalk management plan. Well, yeah, I mean, we do have the six, seven-year-old now complete streets plan that's not different from this complete mm -hmm. streets. We should take a look at that again. Is there a match required for the complete streets um, that you know of the, under the current I am forgetting program? right now. I, I might depend on various What things, if we, could we find, have Diana do a little bit of research to find out if the complete streets match, um, how, how, if we start a project and we start doing a little bit can that be leveraged towards the grant? And what is the time frame on that grant? So say you have to yeah, do it I've within a year. Can we do it yeah. August of this year? Would carry us through right. the, a whole nother year to 2020 because it, you know, within the calendar year, because we were in fiscal 19 mm -hmm. when we do it in mm -hmm. July and August instead of doing it in June. Right. And you know, I like you started to say this before. I like the idea of actually having a sidewalks management plan, like yeah. a pavement management plan. Identify those areas that are most um, dangerous. Well, just, you know, and, we're just not doing anything. Right. Yeah. And, and, and right. And that drives the me point crazy. is to, to have a plan and start doing it. Right. It's just you get um, sick of people complaining and saying, uh, "We know, we know," and then we just nothing happens. I know. That's, it, I, would, it would be well, lovely really, to have. Something I agree with happen. Kip. Get that. We'll get that 
complete streets going and then let's let's get started on something right i i don't want to keep offering that up as a way to of getting in the way of things just to say that i think oh i know i know, know that okay. but it, it's an avenue of money and right. we don't have and money if diana to do it does now, a little so. bit of research maybe okay. we can figure out how we could do some of it and that would be towards a match mm -hmm. that we'd have to do anyway yeah i don't know if we do when i talk I with the see. verizon guy about the poll yes, over here i asked him about putting wires under underground you know i said well if we're ever going to do our sidewalks here you're adding another pole and some more wires and stuff and i'm looking to get rid of them but he said you know we can do that we can come in and do a study and how to put them on he says it's just it's unbelievably expensive to put this stuff underground and i already looked i don't know well, what, i don't know what your thoughts it is are bad. is it uh, and, and I don't, there's there's a, a downside to that too is that if you have a problem on the ground, it's a big Dig problem. It's you know, if you have, up. yeah, if you have a problem on a pole, you know, you lose power. They can get right up there and usually fix it right away. If it's a problem on the ground, it's a huge. Mess. Yeah, I mean, you have less, less, less problems, likely, but right. you, but you, yeah, but they're a bigger bigger ticket to fix. Yeah. Sure. So you do have some budget sheets, and you need to vote on a couple of these. You okay. haven't voted yet. Um, interest on maturing debt. Everybody wake up. <laughs> this is really exciting. <laughs> yes. Where, what line is that? Uh, 328. These are 328. I put them, I clipped them and gave them to, put them in your mailbox. Oh, I didn't go to Sorry, my mailbox. I will, are they in the, um, uh, are they I in the summary them. at all or no? Right here. They should be. Um, I didn't get them. I, that, Kevin, that, I get, you put them in your book already. I gave them to you the, yesterday or the yes. day before. Yeah. Put them in Caroline's mailbox and I will go to your mailbox. I can get it. I'm on my way. I'll be right back. Uh, let's see. Oh. Sorry. Oh, here it is. I'm sorry. I have it. Yep. But I thought we voted this stuff already. I, no? I thought we did too. Nothing's pink in here. Um, Unless it's changed. I don't know. I thought we voted it, but I. That was. Um, that's going to be towards the end of the vote. Right? Yeah. Yeah, return debt. Um, Wendy, are you sure? That, yeah, are you sure we didn't vote it? Oh, interesting. Brenda's sure. But okay. if Wendy did or not, she would like us to do it again. Oh, no, it's fine. It's okay. 181. But um, sometimes I feel like... 181066. I feel like... I um, so it's these four. Yeah, this number is different yeah. than my sheet. Today, so. some, you wanted that special. Did that, she, she did that, that change you. in the last two oh, days? Yeah. What? Because my interest on maturing debt from 328 is, oh, I'm sorry, I'm looking at a different number. FinCom recommended 181, but total appropriate. We have a better number for the uh, school roof because we got the um, final. That's oh. really what changed there. Okay, gotcha. <coughs> so it's the set. It's the 178006 is the number. I make a motion. Yeah. We approve 178 thousand. And six dollars. Second. Is there any further discussion? Second, no. See that? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. So Wendy, we did that. Okay. So and um, the other one is the um, test well monitoring. I keep working on that one, and I think I'm bringing the price down and down on that. So I think um, fifty thousand dollars. We originally had seventy um, in there, and I think fifty thousand dollars. Um, will be adequate. Now, oh yes. <coughs> yeah. Um, I thought we did vote fifty on, on no, the twenty. No, sixty. I'm I'm chipping away. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, I make a motion that we approve um, fifty thousand dollars for the test well monitoring and maintenance. I'll second the motion. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, that that is a ten thousand dollars savings. So yeah. that's good. Thank you, Wendy. We had twenty before. Oh, twenty yeah, last year. So my, I really have earned. My you have. <laughs> <Never>. <laughs> um, and then the other two were the treat the enterprise the treatment plan enterprise fund, and Deerfield Elementary School. Oh no, I'm just giving you updates. Never mind. You did vote that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But the finance committee has did not. most recently. So. Oh, has. So that's just for your books. Okay. Okay. Now. Um, if you would vote to close the warrant, make doesn't a, mean you can't. We can't. Right. I make a motion to close the warrant for town meeting. I'll second the motion. Um, is there any further discussion? Nope. No. Hearing none. All those in favor? Aye. 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 
Again, I really, really appreciate your willingness to meet today oh. Oh, yeah. okay. and apologize for having to change the date. Um, uh, what I want to say, when we were talking about the capital stabilization and even uh, and, um, we were putting money in reserve, is there any way that we could consider paying more on that school roof, another 100000 or so? Oh, no, on the can. van, no. like next year, instead of paying interest on it, right? Yeah. No, this year instead of paying a hundred, why don't we pay two hundred thousand? Well, well, we, we just seem to signed have a lot it, right? Of free cash that. Uh, well, wasn't Skip looking at paying off the the Oxford pickle? Oxford pickle? The pick, yes. With that money, With, oh, right. well, okay. that that's that the that. income from the sale so of the land. land. Yeah. Okay. That. So that's. I see. If right. we pay, if we pay off Oxford pickle. Oxford Pickle is $130,000 of our operating budget. And so it frees up $130,000 of our operating budget. You mean budget. a planning position? No, no, no. no, no. If the, we pay that I'm off. Kidding. We pay okay. that off. Um, <laughs> it gives I, us a little bit I more capacity we, for Even if year. we sell the land, we wouldn't have enough money to pay that off. I think no, but I thought gonna he have was. Half, we're going to have $500,000. Right. Approximately. Uh, have we heard anything more about I the, did, and I got an email, and I. Okay. You want a late breaking development? I'll be right back. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, that's right. I'm sorry. Long. No, I just had crises with personnel, so all kinds of things today. You were thinking maybe to pay down the roof a little bit. Pay down, yeah. I mean, since we have all this the free cash. The problem, the, the problem is, yeah. or the what Barbara has done is is borrow the money at 1.6 percent. Yep. It, we really should have a thorough discussion of what we want to do with our money before we. Start taking huge chunks of. Well, yeah. I, think I, I mean, I, I agree with you. We, that's one an option, but to me, the only discussion is what are we, we getting talk about this. for okay. interest on the money in the bank versus what are we paying for the loan? Right. And if I, the, the loan rate sounds extremely great, uh, but if we're only getting a quarter of a percent on our money in the bank, it isn't uh, worth yeah. the right. town's going to make one and a quarter percent by, yeah. paying, by yeah. paying it I, I, down. I don't know. So, what, I don't know what no. Barbara's got our money in long term, truthfully. With um, well, Bartholomew, um, is that Barbara does that or Brenda? Barbara, Barbara, Barbara. Barbara. Okay. as the treasurer. Yeah, yeah. Um, but you know we didn't. Yeah, we, we haven't didn't walk hit on through that this. Yet. I, let me. I just want to get my. Um, I gotta find my. The revenue detail. Yeah. Is that what you asked? Yeah. Um, this is bottom this line. Gets updated a million, lot. Right? And again, a lot of it's assumptions. We don't have. We don't know what our local aid will be. They have. They won't decide. You heard Steve Kulik talk about this last night. Um, is that the? That's local receipts or no, the local, cherry sheet. It's the cherry sheet. Cherry sheet. Okay. And we're estimating it's ba that. It's basically what I'm saying: unrestricted general government aid. Um, and we just know what the governor has put forward. We usually. It, it's so. Um, and do we? It changes. It doesn't change that much. So we don't have. So there's some stuff that's not listed here yet, right? Because it says we're what? two point three. I'm just looking at revenues at the top. Um, um, sewer revenue. There's no dollar amount there yet. Oh no, I'm sorry. F eight. Yeah, but for nineteen. Looking at the top of the page, are we expecting revenue, right? Which page are you on? Uh, I'm on 2000, let's see, FYA 2019 budget summary. Okay. Revenue at the top. Yeah. Um, so you look at the right-hand column. Right, it's at seven, um, I believe it's the. How come she didn't carry it? Are yeah, there's, I'm, I can't articulate it. Um, yeah. There, it has to do with that being. Um, of a different fund? Yes. I gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. Um, it, but it's saying we're going to get maybe 2.4% 2, 2 less in revenue unless we haven't um, figured these numbers right yet. Right. And, you know, our recommendation, our, Brenda cash. and mine, is free cash. We have less free cash coming in, right, it looks like, than we did the year before. No, we have... Was that 886? Um, well, no, we had 1.6, but we've allocated it elsewhere already. I see. Um, I'm 
Okay, so this was charted off the, the warrant. Um, Do you know what out of, uh, oh, general government, the FinCom didn't, hasn't approved, it's, is it because they just haven't finished their work or they haven't approved, looks like 45,000 worth of. I'm sorry, which item? Are you on, under expense, omnibus budget yeah. for general government. Mm -hmm. um, we have budgeted a million eighty-seven thousand four nineteen, and FinCom's at a million forty-three thousand. I think right. the planner position was not approved. I right. got you. That was the forty-something. Yep. Okay. And you know some of the smaller budgets. Right. Board of Health expense. Board of Health, like I see, that. is different. Mm -hmm. So I really think articles. you need to be the budget people. <laughs> they give recommendations. So, um, so for next week, can we meet early to next week? Because um, I really, I really have to go to my um, granddaughter's concert. I, it's up to the board. I mean, it's not a regular meeting, but is um, it Wednesday. We're yeah. Meeting? Can, can you meet oh, early like we did today? It's hard because I even today I was it was because I got a late start because of the weather and then I was right in the middle of it and I had to leave. Um, I'd really like not to commit to four o'clock. I mean five o'clock I can is tolerable, but when I have well, to be for four I have to leave at three to. Yeah. Or we could do five and then. Um, I could just leave. And then you could scoot out. Yeah. Uh, we'll just hit the stuff first. Yeah. And right, uh, determine what you. Where, yeah, well, what, how you want the agenda so you can be... Front load the yeah. agenda. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I don't have... I just feel bad not... I mean, there's so much work to do. That. We do have a liquor license hearing at yeah. 6.30. Yeah, we at can do that. Yet but another you, you've one. got a, I mean, it's always good to see your grandkids. Wow. You like them I had, it was an, It was an off Sleckman's meeting, and, right. I, and I had and already added committed. It in. Yeah. Sure. And my husband has to be at a job, uh, meeting in Harrisburg, so he can't make it back in time. There's a contract go. contract dispute, so we'll I, it out. Um, I was the one that already committed. <laughs> I mean, not that I wouldn't want to go, but um, yeah. So, okay. Okay. <sighs> yeah, the sewer revenue at the top is because of the change, the proposed change in the uh, system. You know. Right. Okay. Gotcha. Yep, I know what you mean now. I, I think I saw that somewhere. I'm not sure where. Down below. The sewer income. Enterprise fund. Mm. No, it's still not in there. No, yeah. I did see it somewhere. Well, why don't we? Um, can we? Can mm. we go over the budget for next next week then, Wendy? Really well, and just organize it because mm -hmm. um, I know there's a couple of questions on a couple of them, and we we should decide what let's we want talk, to do. Let's talk. Let's um, talk. Well, it's Wednesday. It's already Friday, so I've got to do it on Monday. Okay, I'll be here Sunday. Okay. Mm. So, don't you can call. All right. Want to bring some uh, some kielbasa and eggs? Or? Um, no, well, you promised me a candle. Though. I've got one of those. <laughs> you know, speaking <laughs> of candles, of candles listen, listen, I just want to say, um, last night, um, I won uh, the raffle for, um, at the Selectman's Association, one of the gifts. But honestly, the, a really nice candle. this is a really nice I was the last one. I mean, no one wanted this, but I, I think I'm thrilled to death with this. Well, everybody's like candles, but yeah. then you realize what it is. Uh, yes, it was a th um, celebrating three centuries of community. Is this Sunderland's? Um, it's like a yeah, pewter, tree. Yeah. pewter um, seal, and then the, on the back it's Sunderland celebrating 300 years, 2018, and it's a picture iconic picture of the bridge and the looking out from, mm -hmm. you know, right. and There's then this an magnet is the, um, is the same thing. It's their seal. That's a great idea. And I think it's fantastic. And they had us. Yankee Candle and Crindle, Crindle Candle did it both. But this is yes. so, I don't know if you can see this, but this seal celebrating three centuries of community. I like that. Uh, it's just, it's just so wonderful. It's nice and clean. It's, it looks and it's good. just so classy, and it looks so wonderful. And I was, I actually was really thrilled. And we have and to get our float together for yeah, well, or well, whatever we're oh, doing. Oh, and so next on the agenda, hay we're wagon. Gonna, we're going to put together our float. We got to talk about that for a couple of minutes next week too. Yes. Because the months are. Yeah. 
I mean, we're not quickly. not pressuring you or anything, but we need to figure this out because they were already giving us a hard time last night. You don't, so. you don't, I don't get any pressure. Yeah, that's not pressure. I mean, my wife gets up early to go to work because the sun's coming up at 6, and she says, aren't you going to get up and go work? <laughs> that's pressure. <laughs> that's pressure. Oh, that's like, I can't even open my that's eyes. That's like frozen. <laughs> the sun's up. The sun. I'm up. <laughs> right. But anyway, I just... This is very lovely, and, yes. and I think Sunderland had done an outstanding job. And um, that was a good I'm meeting so last impressed. night. Yeah. You know, at the uh, Franklin County Selectman Association meeting, well, we, we and, all met and talked yeah, about. It was good. You know, well, it's always good to meet with other it is select boards and see what they're working and, on. And yeah, I know. Talk about issues. Yes. So, um, I make a motion that we adjourn. I'll second the motion. Okay. Thanks a lot. All those in favor? Aye. Aye.